Hey there guys, it's Metro. We are back. We're back again. Tuesday, reset day. Dog rhythm, what's up buddy? Welcome. We're back though, yes. Uh back to my my character, playing my character again. <laughs> what's up, man? See the Calipari news? I don't know. I think it's a good thing for both uh both schools to be honest. Fresh start over there in Arkansas. Literally going to start with zero players. You see that? Every single Arkansas player is either gone to the draft or transferred. He ran his course. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it's time. Liz, what's up? Welcome. Liz is here reminding me this weekend about the VODs. I apologize. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but just like randomly assigning uh, ads to videos. Uh, well, actually, not even videos. Just VODs. Just the stream VODs. So I gotta remember to turn it off, but it's it's basically overriding my default settings on videos. I guess they don't count them as videos anymore or something. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's gonna be how YouTube is from now on, but yeah, people like five or six different people have been like, why are there ads every five minutes on your videos? And all of a sudden I'm like, it's definitely not. But I didn't, it took me too long to realize they're talking about stream VODs. So yeah, I gotta remember to turn that off because that's definitely not what I want. But anyway, we got the vault. Let's go and open it. I don't even remember. Do we even? We should probably have one. I think we have one. Yeah. Chest piece that we don't want. So we'll take the gold. And then we'll get started. This is now week two again, I guess. It's actually a pretty good week, I think. Cop and somebody. Biggest problem I have seen is I have to wait a few hours after the stream is over to let the VOD process before I can disable the ads. Ah, interesting. Okay, that's annoying as well then. So it's not automatically upon upload that they get added to. Well, I'll try to remember. It shouldn't be too hard to remember on nights um, where you have the VODs of the actual keys getting uploaded to. Because then I'll just sit down and do that and then remember to change the stream from that day too. But yeah, the ones with Harry, I'll probably always struggle to forget. YouTube Premium for the win. Yes, well, I do appreciate anybody who has YouTube Premium especially. That is... We've talked about this a lot since BFA when it was introduced, but in terms of like a view, like a, a single person uh, contributing to financial elements on this channel, like from just viewing, you contribute probably 2x, maybe 3x more than uh, a regular viewer with premium. If you, if every, if every single person who watched this channel had premium, I would, <laughs> yeah, it'd be awesome. It'd be crazy. But anyway... I don't know, we talked about this a couple months ago. And people were saying like you can actually get premium very cheaply. I don't know that this is a this is legal on YouTube's end. But apparently there's ways that you can like spoof your region or something like that and then just pay for it in a different currency and the couple of the currencies like I think it was Turkey that you can get YouTube premium for like a couple dollars a month only. I don't know how much it actually is. I think it's like fifteen a month or something. Oh, good. I just got confused since I usually listen to the VOD before falling asleep. Yeah, no, that's totally what... That's exactly what I'm trying to avoid, 100%. 100%, I do not want that. May or may not want to talk about it. Oh, we talked about it a ton already, so... Too late now. I mean, like I said, it's probably not something that YouTube wants. Was it you that told me about it? Somebody told me about it. I don't remember who, but... Yeah, either way. It wasn't you, okay. I don't know why I thought it was. <clears throat> so, late late season keys here. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully, Harry's back for some more coaching this week. I don't really know uh, what his schedule is going to be like. I know he's in England or in London right now. But I don't know if he's going to be back by tomorrow. Hopefully, tomorrow. Maybe again the whole week. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, right now we're kind of just... Waiting, waiting for the season. The season starts soon. It's only two more, re two more resets, right? Yeah. It starts this day. So yeah, this is the last two weeks of the season, one way or the other. I would expect YouTube to patch people buying a premium and other currencies. We talked about this online and uh, around. Uh, I don't know why I said that. We talked about this a bunch that day on the stream, and they said it's it's been this way for years. So I don't know. Wait, what's going on? 
Just got like a fucking transfer aborted thing from just sitting here in Valdrak in this word. Time walking on season launch week, is there? Yeah, 8 a.m. that day. I'm telling you guys, I am uh, down this weird rabbit hole right now. I've started watching cooking videos, which sounds crazy because I, I like for months and months and months I've talked about like, I don't think I'll ever really be able to cook. It's too hard when you're one meal a day and I get too hungry and it's not, it's still not great, but yeah, I, uh, I have been watching these cooking videos and it has made me want to like try, I already tried a few things this weekend. I've yet to make like an actual meal. But if anybody knows any good, like, actual cooking channels, the big issue I'm finding is, like, all these, like, really popular ones are all not uh, American, so they, like, have grams and shit. I don't know how to measure grams. Like, as an American, I have no idea what to do. But if anybody knows any good cooking recipe channels that actually show it being prepared, I think that was, like, the biggest thing. Um, when I looked at cooking in the past, I, you, you'd read these text recipes, and it was like, okay, I don't know if I did anything wrong until it's over, you know? Like I'd try to cook stuff, and it just wouldn't come out the way I wanted it to. But now I see the people making it as it's happening, and it's like, oh, okay, well, now I literally know exactly what to do step by step. I hadn't realized how many resources there was going to be on YouTube for it. So I've been actually really, I don't know why, but I've been very engaged by these videos. Anything you want to try in particular? No. I keep like bouncing back and forth between the videos that are like very unique, specific looking things. Like it's like, oh, this looks like a very nice presentation, so I could try it. Or like, this is ready in five minutes, go fucking do it kind of thing. Like that's what I made this weekend. I made a dessert that was like literally a minute, like it. Just put a bunch of shit in a cup and put it in the microwave, and it was really, really good. Babish Colony is a good channel. He does everything step by step and makes it look easy. All right, I'm gonna check that out right now. 454 grams is one pound. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I don't think I don't have any way to measure the, the weights of these things. I guess is the problem. If I had a scale, then yeah, you would just use that. But it's like use grams of potatoes. It's like I don't know how to measure potatoes. Like what? I don't. I don't know what that does. I had the same issue with American recipes. A cup? What size cup? Oh really? Yeah, that's funny. So it's the complete opposite there, huh? Yeah, I get it. We fucking suck, man. But I don't know what to tell you. Weird shit going on. Ten million subs. All right, let's see. One cup equals 255 milliliters, yeah. But it's just like the stuff that, I don't know, like they weigh the, like they seem to weigh it and I don't have any way to weigh it. So I don't know how to convert that into something I can use. I guess it just doesn't matter. You just put a couple potatoes in the pot or something. All right, this is Waycrest, I think, yeah. Double Evoker. Neo, what's up, dude? Welcome. I love cooking myself as a lifelong bachelor who's lived in his own for most of it. I've tried a lot of weird combinations, cool. Yeah, I'm kind of like just really idea the idea of it. It's like, oh man. But I don't know. We'll see. Chicken parm pizza. This guy posted this two hours ago. Let's see. Fortunately, like the best cooking channels all seem to be like these like Korean channels or something like that. The sloppy Jessica one.
Uh, once you get used to it, you don't really measure anymore. Yeah, so I guess I just need to just try it and see what happens. Ooh, that sounds good. Mac and cheese, chili, pizza on a bun. Okay, we're going to save this one. Saving that one. Thanks for the heads up on that, fella. Uh, whatever you do, just add more garlic. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, did you say pizza? Everything else in the recipe is irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, pizza. I'm 500k gold short of 2.5 million. So you have 2 million. I, w I think quitting Mythic Plus was worth it. Gotcha. Alright, let's go ahead and... I don't have any consumables or anything right now. Let's get all this up. Oh, I already have it open, yeah. Wait, do I? No. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, M, what's up, Welcome. Why wouldn't you just say two million? <laughs> so that's really weird. Aren't some golf club weights and grams? Oh yeah, they are, but I mean, I don't... I don't measure the weights of chaps. I feel like you owe those crabs a Mythic Plus... A Mythic Plus used to... Oh, I've been just keeping them ever since I found out about the fact that you're supposed to, like... I don't know, I guess you're supposed to like consume items for the legendary quest line or something like that. So I've just been hanging out all this stuff. Also, it's very nice out today. I tried opening the window. I haven't opened the window in a long time. Because I used to sleep in this room, but I don't sleep in this room anymore. Um, and I don't want pollen all over the bed and stuff. But now that I don't sleep in here, I'm going to try opening the window. So hopefully noises and stuff won't be too bad. I think the last time I opened the room was before I started with RTX Voice, so we'll see how it works out. You'll make a worthy sacrifice. The chefs here have been serving up meals of questionable content. It's not sanguine anymore, yes, that's correct. Put a stop to their culinary monstrosities. And I got the boss going. What's sanguine? Do you mean fortified plus? <laughs> Wow, a preservation evoker. Not seen much of them of late. Yeah, it's definitely not uh, that common, yeah. Okay. 3100 player, tell me what's smart. I love it. Thanks for the tip, buddy. What even is it? Entangling busting. Yeah, it's a good week. Pretty much no fixes here, honestly. I feel like I heard that. Uh, let's see. It's okay. Taking a while to die. You guys do this tweak anything good? I'm trying to think like 
The weekend was not very... Nothing really that special. Watch the college basketball. As expected, UConn finalizes their victory. Not another cooking show has some good stuff. Oh yeah. He used to run a very successful food truck. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at that. Right now, since we're weapon. Not another cooking show. Chronicle witches are back. <laughs> yep. How's the bracket going? Oh yeah, I don't. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I don't think we. I actually, I haven't looked at it in a couple weeks now. So let's see where it fi finishes up. This preservation of ochre is pretty unsmart. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, let's take a look at it. I haven't looked at the bracket thing in a long time. I also have the uh, way too early top 25 for next year, yeah. Duke is as number one, that's funny. Wait, Gonzaga is number two, really? Hmm. And Greg. Oh, they have it. Michael Ajay transferring, huh? How do people even know who's going to transfer? It's like most people haven't transferred yet. <laughs> uh, where even is it? Is it even still here? I don't even know where to look for it now. I guess I need to go back to the link in Discord. I don't even know if I could find that at this point. Did I pin it? No. Do you have your legendary axe yet? Nope. He didn't preserve his brain, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't even know where I find it. It's somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, anyway. Uh, let's try to find another key, I guess. Put that one on the sheet. Okay, now there's some keys listed at least. It was on the top right. Oh, yeah, you were right. Okay, I see that now. All right, yeah, it went great. 28 percentile. 19 million people ahead of me. I don't know when the last time I got points was. Probably round three. Duke beat Houston. That's the last time I got points. Every other team I pick. This this is how you lose a bracket, by the way, guys. Pick the actual national champion winner to lose in the first round. If you do that, you won't win the bracket. I can tell you that. That's an actual really easy way to do it. All right, let's see. Wake Crest 25. Expand. Two. The War Within Alpha next week, presumably. Maybe. I got a little bit of... Uh, I got a little bit of info that it might not be as soon as we thought. But yeah, who knows? Hopefully sometime soon. The witches in Corlane it's fine. They only doubled Stetson's points. <laughs> the reason I had this in my head was because... Um, when I watched the pre Or like the lead up to the tournament... Stetson, uh, they had a player score 40-some points in their championship game. Their conference championship game. And I think I talked about it on stream, but like a 15 and a 16 seed, they can only win if they have an elite scorer who just kind of gets dragged down by the rest of the team throughout the regular season. And I was like, all right, that's Stetson. You know, and like I looked at the stats and I was like, they are a team that can be a top seed. But they played UConn. So I think if they played like fucking Arizona, they probably would have won. But unfortunately, they played UConn. I don't. I don't really even know how that team was ranked a 16 seed because it looked like they should have definitely been a 15 seed. I don't know who chooses that, but yeah, either way. Yeah, copy one. 36 percentile wins the bracket. Congrats. Who'd you have in the national championship game? If the alpha isn't next week, I hope it isn't for at least a month after. 
that's the scary part in my eyes. Like one way or the other, we're getting it needs to either be this week or they need to wait like a month. Yeah, you had Duke taking it all, but who who else like in the final four? I guess. Just trying to figure out like what the difference between yours and my and ended up being. Did you have UConn and Purdue in the final four? Because I don't even think I had Purdue in the final four. I don't know. I didn't have Purdue in the final four. I wonder if they'll ever release an expansion without streamers and stuff testing it. No, definitely not. It's got to get tested, so it's not like they're doing it just for streamers to test it. They're doing it for testing in general. Yeah. We've been away from this so long, I've forgotten all these things I need to do. Disband reason. Guess we'll just call that mutual. I, I like this early disband. Fucking group just scatters to the wind. Wipe to the first boss. What did you think was going to happen? Oh, yeah. What about the eclipse? I knew there was something that happened recently. Did you guys view it? Healer unsmart. Did you guys view it? I, like, pretty much had no... Like, it was not even viewable here for some reason. It was too much clouds, I guess. posted this picture in the discord i don't maybe i'm just weird but like what does that look like to you guys it's some recently uncovered like something or other in england could be weirdo maybe but i'm a wow player i don't go outside you can view the clips from your window i was able to see it looks like a foundation okay I think it's aliens playing Tetris. Really? That's all you guys see? Okay, good. No preservatives. <laughs> yep. It's like a giant alien footprint. Oh, wow. To me, it looks like a fucking dick. That's, that's like, for when I see that, that's the first thing that I think of. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess Faxi's probably. <laughs> it's probably a building. That's why I said uh, the fingerprints of the gods are probably all over that one. Which is a joke because Seismical and I always talk about Graham Hancock. Which is ironic, doubly ironic given his name is Hancock. Anyway, uh, if I travel billions of miles, first thing I'm doing, messing with the grass. <laughs> yeah, so that, that was underground. So I don't know what the actual outline of that structure is. It's like significantly underground. So yeah, I think Fax is right. I think it's probably a foundation for something that used to be there. Uh, people go out and make those in cornfields all the time. Yeah, no, that that one's that's like under the ground apparently. I don't I don't know. I didn't actually read the article or anything, but oh, that's funny. You also had NC State in the Final Four. What the hell? What be just because I was talking about them, or what made you pick NC State to go to the Final Four? That pick, those two picks that you and I made on that, it's like, oh, wait, wait, I actually can't tell. What is SC? Maybe I'm wrong. You didn't have NC State in the final four. You were Duke in the final four over SC. What is SC? I have no idea. Anyway. All right, cool. Let's see what we got here. South Carolina? I don't know. South Carolina wasn't in the tournament. Reload Project. What's up, buddy? Welcome. I bet aliens came down to it a few years ago, but they saw us and thought it's not worth the shot. It, it could very be, very well be the case. Hey, Anthony Saladino. What's up, buddy? Long time no see. What's good in thy, thine hood, brother? <laughs> what's up, man? Welcome. Lone noob. I bet aliens came... Oh, you read that. Uh, hey, Metro. What's up, buddy? You spelled my name with weird characters, but welcome. Hey, Metpo. Close bracket. Oh, you have your actual bracket posted? Can I look at yours? I can tell it's yours because you didn't come up with an actual name. 
ESPN fan 5143483039. Are you a big, are you that big of a fan? Wait, this isn't even the same bracket that you What is that? Texas Tech It's Russian, yeah, I know, I know. And when they put just a bracket like that, that meant, it's meant to mean a smile, right? Is that how it works? SC. Oh, yeah. Wait. South Carolina was in the tournament. What the fuck? All right, I'm going to do it. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, they ended up having a pretty good season this year. Yeah, you're right, South Carolina. I guess, uh, well, it's probably not going to be that long of a wait. We'll just go. Maybe he doesn't have an English keyboard. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know how that works. You have a separate keyboard. I'd love to see that. A Russian keyboard. My brother lived in South Carolina, and my niece and nephew still live down there. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, South Carolina actually was decent this year. I forgot about that. They had some big wins. Valshara. That's the wrong zone. Why did I just go there? We'll just pour it, I guess. Fuck it. Is my heart... Nah, heart's not even up. Maybe it's joke. I don't think so. Narcan, uh oh. Do we take pre sealer? No, take the other guy. Sign another druid so we can make another clip. I have to run and get ready to head out, uh, but I wanted to stop by and hang out for a bit. All right. Oh, you're taking off for a while. Nice. All right, man. We'll hope everything's good. We'll see you sometime soon. Well, we, I guess we'll see you before the end of the week, or you're going to be gone for like a week or something. Say no. Let's four-man it. I don't think we can four-man it. I'll be back Thursday afternoon. All right, cool. Make up Easter visits. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, hopefully you're feeling better then. You actually speak Russian, so I thought I'd tell you. You didn't know. You actually speak Russian, so I thought I'd tell you. Didn't know you knew Cyrillic characters. I don't speak Russian now. Two massive spells is a hell of a drug. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good point, yeah. Probably not. Priest healer is pretty weak here. Oh, well. Glad somebody agrees. That guy's a self-hating priest, one of those guys. Monk has mass too. Oh, not not really. Hate crime against his own people. Yeah, right. That priest on priest crime. Javante, would somebody welcome? Me? Classic chili cheese smash burger. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This one looks good. Vladin Pantic, would somebody welcome? Me? Guys who use, like, just fucking slices of orange American cheese for their recipes, I just, like, I'm not going to go out and buy that. Like, <laughs> sorry. That's fucking disgusting. I'm not putting that on my food. 
I guess he can just use regular shredded cheese though instead. Drain tomatoes. I don't know what that is. Doesn't that plastic wrap cheese burn instead of melt? I have no idea, but I'm not eating that under any circumstances. You don't like homogenized cheese product? <laughs> no. Too much homogenization is bad, as we know from WoW. Oh, what the fuck? That guy just added beer. Whoa. Okay, this is interesting now. That's a very interesting idea. Did I miss a disband? Yep. Quick one. Calvin, when somebody welcome. Uh, Metro, what do you think is the best healer for Mythic Plus? Uh, Blood Death. Blood Death Knight. Thanks a lot, man. Which 25 months as well? Holy shit. Which season four dungeon are you looking forward to the most? Oh, Azure Vault. Not even close. It's like Azure Vault's tier one, and then the next thing would probably be on tier three. How was your weekend? How was your weekend gone? I uh, got I golfed yesterday. I feel like better than normal after golfing. I played so bad, man. I'm really disappointed. I drove by the golf course that I've been talking about, and it does look like it's officially closed. They had like the whole parking lot roped off, so I guess that's it. And that's really bad because that was my place to like go and work on stuff and try to get better without pressure and people constantly interfering. And I hope I'll be able to find a, a new alternative to it, but one way or the other, even if I do, it's going to be f much farther away than that one. Will you play at new grounds now? Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to, yeah. I was going to, I was like heavily considering going again today because I played so bad at the end of yesterday's round that I really wanted to try to go and work on stuff. But, um,. I didn't want to go after stream because it's going to get so late. Like, the stream, I couldn't start it early. Like, I would want to start it maybe at 11 instead and then end at 3. But because of the fucking server being down, I wasn't able to do that. Then I was thinking actually even maybe going before stream and then not streaming till like 1. But I feel like that'd be a bad idea. Then I'd just be too tired and probably hungry and in a bad mood, so... So I won't go today, but maybe tomorrow. It's supposed to rain now the rest of the week. It's, it's really, it's like 75 out today. So yeah, that's why I said I got the windows open, but yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we'll get some golf in this week and start getting more of a rhythm. Is the kill wall in Azure Vault still going to be there? It seems like it, unless they just recently changed it. But when me and Cop ch uh, tested it two weeks ago now, it's still there. It's Algathar Academy for me. Big AOE is pure dopamine for my brain. Oh, yeah. I feel like everybody gets wrapped up in, like, those three pulls, and that's not even a quarter of the trash count in that dungeon. That dungeon was kind of hard, and I know they changed some of the stuff that made it so hard, but I do think that last boss is going to fucking destroy people now that they added that new mechanic to it. It looks way, way harder. Cop could test in once a week to see if they change it. <laughs> Just have them roll off the cliff a couple times, yeah. Season 4 is still testable on the PTR. Yeah, maybe if we don't... Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, I don't know that I can... Like, there's just not any any actual players doing the keys that I'm looking for right now, so... Maybe if uh, we do end up playing more instead of Harry's coaching series... It's either an alt or PTR, I just can't decide. 
I don't really feel like the PTR would be any more interesting, though. Valus, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Being this picky in a 20 tier, 25 tier tot is odd when you have zero options. That's what I'm saying. Like, there isn't going to be any options. Like, <laughs> this is only going to be a small handful of people, especially when the servers were down all morning. It's just plus people online than normal as well. I'm thinking maybe he should have taken the priest. <laughs> yeah. Good luck to him. Beef, cheesy, enchilada, casserole. That sounds good. I only had one slot on my death knight. Rolled that stam trinkina. Took it. Stam trinkina. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> Stamina trinket. I took it anyway, so I can say I own the most worthless trinket of the expansion. Wait, which trinket? The one from Everbloom, you mean? That one's actually really good. I wanted that one the whole expansion, but I never got it. Or the whole season. I mean this one right actually no i think i'm thinking of a different one yeah this one it maybe isn't very good oh yeah the hp is very valuable as a blood decay though don't forget about how many different things scale off hp i think this is actually solid but i was not thinking of, there's a heal there's one from the healing yeah this is the one that's really really nice i really wish i could have tried this one Envelop an alley in Ancient Protection, absorbing up to 227k damage, and that's a one minute cooldown. And it also increases versatility. That seems like that would actually be really, really good, but it's a healing only trinket. Yeah, the egg seems good too, but I don't think... Wait, why are we on Paladin? What? Taking damage is a chance to put a 132k seal on it. I guess because they have both fire egg trinkets. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> the fire egg ones are very, very good. They seem to just be objectively better, like just not tuned well. But if you try, if you do do a key with it on, let me know. I'll have to see how much actual healing that provides. But yeah, if I could take two stamp trinkets, I would every season. I think Alpha will be out this week. According to the timeline, it's supposed to launch before Season 4. You would think. I thought it was going to be out two weeks ago now, so. It does say it's supposed to be out before Season 4, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got a little bit of a. No, yeah. Anyway. It may, it may not be out this week. Let's put it that way. I really hope it won't be next week, though. 
I guess it doesn't even matter, just whenever it comes out, but... Jay, what's up, buddy? Welcome. I feel iffy not having at least one strength tree on Blood Decay. That armor must mitigate a ton. Yeah, you're right. Probably having two stamina trinkets would be stupid, but... I just like stamina above all because... Then you can, like, at the higher health, the easier it is to not get one shot. And that's the thing that makes me the least happy on Blood Decay is just, like, getting hit so hard that you can't potentially respond to it in time. Tyler has Alpha soon in his title. Anytime he has something like that in his title, it's usually soon. I mean, yeah, this time he's wrong. Let's put it that way. Um, but it probably is soon. I mean, it's got to be soon. It's not a fucking leak, right? Like, it has to be soon, so. Bad. Bad typer. Trying to type a little joke out there. They said it would be pre-4, and that's in two weeks. You have some saying. It's got to be soon. <laughs> Still have one more reset. I think next week would be not great, honestly, but... I don't know. Like, I, I guess, like, they launch it next week, and then just don't... Like, what? Then Season 4 comes out, and they just don't update it that week or something? It'd be really weird if the second week of Alpha was as the season started, don't you think? Usually the first two weeks of Alpha are like the biggest, like that's that's when it that's when they want to do it. These guys are gonna do a background check on this monk. <laughs> I mean I don't blame him, he's not very qualified, but it's just one of those things like bro, it's fucking two weeks from the season ending, you probably wanna just see how it goes. Hey, Trunks, would somebody welcome? Oh, now the priest relents. <laughs> yeah, I can't see either. I don't know why. These don't. Does it take a while? It's weird. This is what I need to find. Like, I find this random person making cooking videos. They have, like, dozens and dozens, maybe like, hundreds of videos, and, like, half of them don't even have 100 views. These are the channels I need to find. Because if you're out there like pumping out this content and you're not even making any money from it, you probably are a very, very good cook. You just like cooking. Instead of these like 10 million sub channels that are just uploading the same videos over and over again. Have one potato? Make this at home. It's like, uh, yeah. K's cooking. All right, let's see K's. Okay, that's, the production quality makes me think this is the exact type of channel I'm looking for, but seem to be very successful outside of that. It's abominable? Wait, why? Don't follow K. Oh, no. Wait, what? You're joking, I guess? It's like a joke channel or something? Here's a great one. Spaghetti hot dogs. I'm going to bookmark this one. Is it just a joke? I guess it's a joke. I'm not going to watch the videos right now, but. I don't think I will have time for this. Yeah, no shit. It's because you waited 45 minutes to invite a healer. I saw someone make an authentic Chicago deep dish pizza on there. First time I wanted to cook something myself. Literally not possible to get it here. Oh, yeah. Like on YouTube, you mean?
Hey, Rise, how is, how is it going? I didn't read it yet, but they posted Mythic Plus nerfs. Oh, yeah, let's see. Well, like right now? Not uh, data mine ones. Oh, this is just the stuff that was. Wait. This week's hot fixes target a lot of the pain points caused by undocumented changes to season four dungeons. I think this is just stuff we already knew about, yeah. They just hadn't gone onto the PTR yet until right now, apparently. Not good. This spell will still very much be a kick or die situation because of how much damage they do even with the nerf. And if the anti-sync tech is still implemented for these spells, pulling a bunch of birds at the same time will still require a lot of communication. Desecrated Onua's Rotting Wind. Oh yeah, okay. There are a couple of big cooking YouTube channels I do enjoy. Really like Mythical Kitchen and Joshua Wiseman. Getcha. Yeah, I'm kind of just letting it come, I think. I've been really uh, down the rabbit hole on cooking stuff all of a sudden, but I've now seen so many recipes that I want to make and I don't have enough money or food to make it. <laughs> so I'll probably just see how the first one goes kind of thing and move on from there. The problem, like I said earlier, is like a lot of these are non-American channels and I guess they just have access to ingredients that we don't have here. Like, a lot of these channels are using something called potato starch, which I've never even heard of. I don't think they sell that around here. I looked it up. You can buy it on Amazon, but... They do not have that in grocery stores around here. And, like, the recipes seem to require it heavily. And then, like, if you you look at some of them, people are, like, asking if you can replace it with cornstarch. And people are like, it's going to be different. It's not the same recipe if you don't use potato starch. Heron, what's up, buddy? How was progress with Harry? Ah, oh, it's been great, man. It's been really, really fun, too. We had an amazing moment happen on stream, too, that I made a clip out of on Saturday. If you didn't see it, you should. I'll give it a gander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, talking about that druid with Harry? Yep. Do you have Kroger near you? No, I don't even know what that is. Chad Kroger? And they say that a hero can save us. I'm not gonna stand here and wait. What was it? In Atal the Tzar? No, that was the one from Monday, yeah. That one's really funny, too. Still getting hilarious videos at the end of the season, which is awesome. I got another great one for this weekend, too. Walmart has it? Yeah, so Walmart says it has it, but they don't have it in the store. That's the problem. Walmart's one of those things like you can get anything you want at Walmart, but you're going to have to get it shipped to you. Metro has an admitted addiction. Yeah. And as Cameron said, admission is the first step of recovery. You don't get stunned, that's the big thing. Beware. Keep behind this mob. Have to admit you have a problem before you can take action to fix it. Yep, totally agree with that. Unfortunately, in this case, I don't want to take action to fix it. <laughs> I want a total desire to last forever. Still, this first pull is insane. I'm not daring it as a tank. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of the bleeds. If I was a dwarf, it would be like trivially easy, though. You can just guarantee survive the bleeds. There's like zero danger to the actual tank here. 
There's a Kroger on Kaiser Ave in Scranton. Really? Okay, cool. I'll take a look at it. North Kaiser Ave, is, is that near you? Yeah, that's very near me. Thank you, I'll take a look at that. That's a grocery store? I've never even heard of that. Beware. I'm excited to push this week on my Warlock. Currently 2400. Oh, cool, man. Glad to hear people are still excited this late in the season. That's awesome. Big North grocery chain, okay. New beige anti popo from Azerlam. Late season is wild. Wa 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 wild. That's probably one of the worst ones I've seen, honestly, all season. Is there any tribute to Dunder Mifflin and Scranton? There probably is somewhere. I never really watched a show, so I don't really know what to look out for. Kroger is actually a Midwest chain. Okay. Mage dies to the grab from the mini boss and just leaves. Does he not have any way to get out of that as a mage? Everything seemed like a north chain when you live south. <laughs> yeah. Just like you lot are southerners. Everything south of the wall is south. We have Kroger as well in Colorado, but it's called King Super. They can blink out of the CC. That's what I thought, right? But is it because of the silence? Maybe they can't? Maybe they can't even ice block if they're silence? I'm not really sure. I don't think they can if they take the talent that makes ice block. Well, no, they definitely can't if they have that talent, yeah. All right, fleshy tree. That guy was gonna be a, a winner. I felt like too. Two shadow priests in one day, though, and we actually almost had a third. Bold to assume makes mages don't take anti ice block and shimmer. That wall of red disband is just disheartening. <laughs> that's not even that abnormal. I mean, that's we've had worse during the actual season proper. But yeah, at this point in the season, I certainly don't expect keys to go well. Oh, well, is he from Dalaran? Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Did you answer that, please? Say, this one like has to go in a review if we do that. Fire mages overrated. Much prefer my wait males. Wait, wait. Oh, because he put most males remove their utility for fun. <laughs> Damn males! It wasn't even a wipe. Yeah, no, that's just like a hardcore rage quit. Yeah. Notice people seem to purposely pop all orbs in the infinite dungeon. I can't understand what people get from them. You mean like at the end? It's 25. Didn't interrupt ending season 2. Die on me. Come on. And you talk alone if you want. I 
I don't need you explain. What the fuck? Did this guy like never speak English before as well? If male utility removal is fun, that sounds pretty faint painful. <laughs> Did you guys watch the Curb Your Enthusiasm series finale? I really enjoyed that show. It was good. What, what, what score is a person who does something like that? Okay. So, pretty much the same as me. Good to know. What do you think about Calipari going to Arkansas? I'm a huge fan of that. Huge fan of that. I was a big fan of Eric Musselman, though. I'm going to miss him. Probably never see him coach again now because USC's games are always on so late. But, yeah, I definitely, uh, I think Calipari needed to get out of there ASAP. So I'm glad he did it. I think, like, that was a good way to handle it, too. Like, he probably should have been fired, frankly, but I don't know how that works. I realized when I opened my vault, I didn't do a key last week. <laughs> yeah. Been there before. That might be the most pathetic lever so far this season. It absolutely is, yeah. There's not even, like, there's not even one close. Especially in a dungeon like that, like a tyrannical 25 rise to leave over a trash death. It's like, you should just stop playing the video game. You are not as good as you think you are. If they fired him, Kentucky would have to pay a $33 million buyout. Oh, really? Like, yeah, I don't know how that works. I guess they basically said to him, hey, we don't want you here. But we can't we can't fire you. So if you want to stay here, it's going to be against uh, you know our wishes. Did you progress further for your achievements? No, I maybe I didn't talk about it clearly last week, but I just wanted to get to 30k, and that's kind of where I stopped. I got some like random five point achievement yesterday, but that's it for me now. I won't touch it again for a while, probably. It's fine. He could have just blinked out. Oh wait, he took shimmer. That's fine. He can block. Oh wait, he took. <laughs> yep. We need a coach who wants to build a program and not get dudes to the NBA. Well, now that, like, I think the NBA thing is, like, invalid now, right? Like, because, like, there's legitimately players making more in NIL deals than they do in the first few years of college, of uh, NBA, you know? So, I don't think, like, that's, like, something that's very attractive to people nowadays. Like, if you were a college player and you're an elite athlete, you probably aren't that worried about going to the NBA. Or the, otherwise, you would just go to the NBA G League instead, right? Like, look at the top of the mock draft or whatever. Five out of the ten guys are all non-college basketball players. So... I guess I'm in the minority here. I support college players getting paid. Oh, I, I mean, I do too, yeah. It's the transfer thing that I'm not really a, a fan of, but this has definitely made college basketball more interesting. But unfortunately, like I said, it brings less talent to the programs because more people are interested in money than playing.
The priests. <laughs> yeah. I'm still at the 15k range, but first expansion for me and why was Dragonflight. Oh, that's pretty good. 15k for the first expansion. That's a lot. There's two priests. Yep. A couple Azerlonians too. This will be a good one. A tall bazaar. We know it and love it. Mage better nuke or what? He will not. What? If the top college team played the top NBA team, how much of a blowout would it be? <laughs> That's a. I have no idea. I've never even thought about that. Who's the top team? Like the Bucks? I don't even know who the top teams are right now. This is There's nobody going to be able to match up against the top athletes in the NBA. Is the problem? Like, who the fuck is going to guard uh, Jokic, you know what I mean? Who's going to guard Steph Curry? Like, those guys are not going to be guardable by a college athlete. It's the Celtics? Okay. Who's going to guard? Well, Jason Tatum was a Duke basketball player, at least, but... Yeah, either way. Most of these guys can't be guardable. They're not guardable by college athletes. Is there an Atal relapse coming? Yeah, I'm fiending. Scratching the neck. I'm a very casual healer. Just pug the Keystone Master mount each season. Just wondering, do you think it's better for me to interrupt on CD or only use it on deadly cast so I know that those get interrupted? The way I always say it, in a pug setting, it's going to be different key to key. So you basically want to just, like, see how others are interrupting during it. Like, alright, this guy's interrupting the second a cast starts, so I'll interrupt later. This guy's missing his kick window constantly. Like, he's not interrupted once, so I'm going to have to pick up the slack. These four guys got it covered, so I'll just get the interrupts that were really, really needed or the ones that fall to the wayside. You know, like, it's going to change. Every every dungeon is going to change. Celtics, I think, are 14 games ahead of the Bucks. Oh, wow. Hey, Metro, did you watch the Live Golf Tournament? I haven't really watched much golf recently now. Was it good? I didn't see it this weekend at all. I heard the PJ one was solid, but the Bucks lost when they hired Doc Rivers. I called that the second it happened. <laughs> I remember you saying that, yeah. Just checked, it's actually 15 games ahead. Wow, that's crazy. Just like the Bruins then, huh? Hopefully they'll not lose in the playoffs. Remember, Metro, if you give up on funny at Taldazar moments, we all suffer withdrawal. Yep. They clinched home court a week ago. I think I saw that actually. Yeah, I didn't realize how early in the season it was. It's funny. The Clippers clinched home court. Shame they're worse at home. Oh, yeah. They still play in the same court as the Lakers. Staples Center, is that even the name of it anymore? Probably not. Staples, is that even a company anymore? Is a better question. Yeah, in the Staples Center, you can see America with its tired poor avenging disgrace. People loving youth against the mortality. Plastic existence. Hey, a Geo, it's somebody welcome. They got their own arena next season. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's cool. Just like the uh, athletics. Big move for them, going to a much, be much better market for them. They could pack their 6,000 attendants into that nice little minor league park. Uh, I was just at Staples this morning. Oh, it's still there? That's cool. The Magician will do better for sure. <laughs> this Magician. Hopefully. I actually think they're called the Oakland Fenties. Oh, God. That's a dark joke, bro. What the fuck? Away, 
I, do you know what I mean? I gotta keep it dark. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, Tyranitol. Good clips this week, maybe. Let's see if the magician can avoid being chomped. Somebody fainted or something. Yeah, probably the mage of Viz. Or it could be a night elf priest or something. Probably time this. Maybe not. No, I don't think so. I bet this mage can blink or block. Oh no. <laughs> See, is it gonna pick me now? No. Still can't figure this out. There's no actual melee at all in this group, and it still doesn't pick me. Whereas Harry gets picked every single dungeon. We'll just, uh, I, I always forget. We have a Night Elf Ray Shield in here in a while. We'll do it this time. Oh, it looks like somebody else did it too. Probably the mage can do every other or something. All right, single target specialist losing to another, another DPS mage. The guy was right, actually. Bad slap hands there. Come on, pick me. I want to get picked. I want you to do it. The evoker name is kind of familiar. Badadan. Yeah, it does sound familiar. I played Sod for eight hours with 100% experience and 300% gold buff. It seemed nice. Then I realized that people that await me at max, the people that await me at max level and quit again. Yeah. I really wouldn't mind trying it, honestly, but. So they made those just dinars stacked to 20 on the BTR. I think they're going to be tossing those things at us. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe you're right. Hopefully they'll get a uh, dropping from the plus two somehow. An Og for Totem Boss. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, Og and Fire Mage for Totem Boss. I hope it's not Raid Locks. Yeah, me too. Was that a Joker reference? Yes, sir. I know Jix agrees with me. One of the best... Trilogies of films ever made. First one wasn't great, but second and third one are masterpieces. Heath Ledger was A plus plus. Yep. The whole film was excellent, really. I like Maggie Gyllenhaal as well. This guy's not even here now. What's he doing? Taking his boat for a little ride. Did you just AFK? I'm officially broke again. Just paid out my NCAA tournament bracket challenge. Oh, really? How much was the... <laughs> How much was that? He's plundering. <laughs> Watching you tank instead of Harry feels like a different class. <laughs> yeah, I have bone shield. <laughs> How funny is that? Plus, I have instincts. I think it's another. Harry, like, opens packs, and he's just like, what do I do now? I already know what to do before I open them. Asra Long, no long time. Asra Long, no time. No okay, I get it. Asra Long, time, no see. I love that. All right, he's back. Bone shield? What's that? <laughs> Hey, mate, I pulled this pack. Do you think I should death strike? Ah, oh, mate, I died in it. Was four million to the winner. Whoa. 
pretty crazy. What what place did you give? Who did you pick in your final four? I came in third to last. Whoa. Who did you have in your final four? Four million USD? No, no, no. He's talking about gold. Do we know if there's a way to get Dinar from Mythic Plus? No, I don't think we know anything about it at all right now. My final four was Houston, Tennessee, Iowa State, and UNC. Ah, oh, damn. I had UNC too, obviously. I really can't believe they lost. There was a couple of teams that all could have did well this season, but... UConn definitely wasn't losing. Who would they, they have lost to? Tennessee or Iowa State? I was a fucking UConn hater all season, but now that it's over, I could admit it. They are deep. They got like 10 players, you know, like actual good players on that team, so. You saw it last night on full display. ED scored 37 and they didn't even come close to winning that game. Not UNC, I had Baylor. Oh, okay. Baylor, that was... That one's not a great pick. Spliff, if somebody woke him. If Dinars are from Mythic Plus, it'll be like 500 bosses for the first one. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how they would do it. Bosses, maybe. How's the keys going? Same as always. Multiple five minute disbands so far today. Someone said the, the limit is two dinars a week. Is that just them guessing? I'm not sure to be honest. I haven't seen that said anywhere. This comp seems dog shit for Vocal. Yeah, it's like the worst possible comp you could have for Vocal. I guess other than three odd Vokers, but. I just really hope it's not raid only. Yeah, me too. There's a slow fall toy on the trading post. Yeah, the parasol or whatever, right? I got that. Three act vokers would at least kill them evenly. Oh, actually, that's a great point. Yeah, forget it. This is the worst comp. Fire Mage and Ogvoker. What other, like, are there any other, like, yeah, maybe Bombkin or something like that? Something, like, also very CD reliant. Absolutely hate playing with Og and even more so in here for this fight. Yep, definitely. I personally don't look forward to a Tyrant key with an Og. I don't feel like their damage and buffs make up for not having a true DPS. Yeah, that's the way I feel about it too. I'm only 8.5 million away from 10 million gold. <laughs> I guess it's the one with the og. Cool, that guy just got hit by the boss and died. Has Blizzard mentioned at all how keys are going to work week one for season four? How much are they going to drop by? No, they haven't actually. Probably a big announcement there, and they're waiting until the end to make it. Love the Og, bruh. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I'm making this fight hard enough as it is. Can't have you make it even harder. Somebody said uh, that the boss leeches health off the totems, so it will naturally damage the totems. Well, if you damage the boss, the boss heals by taking health from the totems. Is this correct? I don't think this is correct. I've said this before, I wish keys completely reset on season. I would like, I think that's what they need to do this season especially, but I would like that regardless. Sounds like a load of bullshit. <laughs> I've never heard that before, but I guess you don't normally have people attacking the boss. Isn't he immune? He's not immune, no, he just heals. And then the healing flips to damage after he dies. I'm out of here. It's 2 a.m., but I do enjoy your videos. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, we'll have more this weekend for sure. Hopefully a full week of streaming. We'll see what happens. Hello, Metro. Hope all is well. Yeah, James, what's up, buddy? Saw the video posted. Too funny. <laughs> yeah, that was a wild one. That's what the bomb king was doing in yesterday's video. The boss had to leech health from the totems. <laughs> well, that's that was the video where it was po posted, and... He said the reason the totem died wasn't because the Windwalker kept attacking it. It was because the boss was being attacked by the druid. So the boss was stealing the health from the totems. That killed it. And I like I had like three different comments typed out and I was like, I'm not even gonna reply to this. Like what is this is this real? I got is this a real comment? I have no idea what to even say here. I don't think that's how it works, but I have no idea. Because I would say I've never seen anybody attack the, the boss before. I think you got a lot of us with that intro. <laughs> I'm glad. That was fun. Just kind of like randomly came to me because I was like, God, another Atal? I don't, can I keep making videos on this dungeon? I was looking, I have like 15 in my inbox and I was like, all right, let's find a video. I sat down, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go through these and find a video. I'm gonna go through them until I find one that's video worthy. First one. <laughs> a tall where they fucking have a disband mid boss on vocal. All right, this is the one. I literally said it to myself. I was like, "Oh, that was quick." <laughs> when in doubt, a tall. If you get in the alpha, do you, do you have any plans for content? Yeah, I'll just wing it. Depending on what's there, like if there's delves, I definitely want to check that out. If it's just leveling, I probably won't do that much on stream. But I will do, like, I'm just pretty much waiting to get into the, the War Within Alpha. And I'm going to do a bunch of leveling challenges on there for sure. So that channel is getting revived. Don't start a video like that again. I almost teared up. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. That will be the only time probably. I love that two-handed shaman from the Dragonfly beta. Ooh, yeah. I could see myself. I just really want to explore the class content, though. That's, like, the main thing I want to check out. So I really hope delves are testable early, because that's something I really want to try. I noticed I n only need 500 subs to get monetized. Oh, really? Maybe. Maybe it changed. I don't know. It's a good question. Hunter's only real addiction is Blood Death Knight. <laughs> yeah, that one's definitely not going away anytime soon, though. God, I haven't played, like, myth I haven't done Mythic Plus in so long, my hands are actually hurting already. Because even though we've been streaming, it's I've not even touched the game while streaming it, so.
I hope Sand Lane is fun because the other Blood Decay tree looks really fun to me with the exploding brands. Yeah, I, I, I can't, uh... I can't wait to see it. Why is your damage thing off? Do you find it annoying? I, oh, the numbers? It's just spam. Like, you can't use those numbers for anything. Like, they're useless. Just look at the chart if you want to see the DPS. Just literally, like, just straight out clutter that has no purpose in the game. High mode damage numbers are the most useless thing about WoW. Yeah, I mean, they're... I could see it in classic, you know, and it's kind of cool for like a leveling challenge or something like that, where you're still doing like sub 1k DPS or something, but especially in any AOE setting, it's just ridiculously pointless. Especially the mixed scrolling battle text sort of stuff. Right, that's what I'm saying. I have no idea. Like, I don't know what those add-ons started as, but they are useless now. My lizard brain loves seeing the numbers when I play, even though they're useless. Oh, really? You don't feel like it blocks, like, stuff that's actually relevant in the game? It's useless, but it makes gameplay feel juicy. Nothing better than font size 80 damage numbers absolutely flooding my screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess I see what you mean now, yeah. I get you. You're not even, like, looking at them, but it's just about the fact that they're, they're there and that happening that frequently is, like, good for, like your chemical responses to the content. They do not help you in the moment in any way. Clutter is the best way to put it, yep. Is it even possible to time it with this route on a 26? Yep, we've already done it probably like three or four times on both difficulties. Three, two, one. Uh, does help identify immune or DR mobs faster? <laughs> I guess so. I don't know if you can't tell that based on what's going on, then yeah, maybe you're right. I got a 489 Everbloom Stamp Trinket and a crab. Just because the keys were done near you. Because the keys were done near you. Oh, you mean with Jix? Yeah, yeah it's funny. I don't know what exactly it is about retail floating text, but none, none of the monkey brain brain good feelings are there, even if you're actually good DPS. It's just too much, yeah. It's just an overstimulation. Like. Three, two, way too many of them for it to be good. Absorb reads as about 300k at 489 with 14% verse. Nice. That's pretty good. If you ever use it, let me know. I'll have to see what it actually does on the healing chart. I have a friend whose client plays a crunch sound when he does a big crit. He hasn't changed the threshold since BFA, so whenever he plays, it sounds like a Geiger counter. Oh, that's really funny. I've had that issue with certain add-ons as well. The number squish fucks it up. Nice. 
numbers. Don't give me those. All I need is Divine Tolls Bong and Dozen Shields flying around. <laughs> Hey, Gag, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Yeah, that hits for 430k. Back to that Harry conversation from last week. And then it does a... Oh, it's a damage dealt. Oh, okay. I thought that makes you take more damage. That's interesting. I don't have any actual CC, I guess. A few of my friends like to copy whatever UI I run. I could totally bait them into all running that one day. You guys are talking about some. There's a Frosty K weak ore that shouts when you crit obliterate, and it is the most obnoxious thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds obnoxious. You're right. I'm a rat. I don't need to be in melee. Damage numbers don't block anything for me. <laughs> I'd like to hear Owen Wilson saying wow every time a crit happens. <laughs> Paddock comes out May 20th. That was that just announced? May 20th. Okay. That Frosty K week or What's going on? That frosty K weak or Owen Wilson yelling wow every time it crits. <laughs> That's funny. They have release dates for all the raids too, wow. That's interesting. Beware. Everybody's all split up again. Sure, that's my fault somehow. there it looks like Three, two, one. oh yeah okay, that's fine that was almost a really bad slap ends Guys, still a fucking angel. Three, two, one. Beware. So I'm a spot for Soul Run behind boss, but the group ran somewhere else. Yeah, so that. Let's go that way, I'll go this way.
must all be shattered. They're pretty trapped, but I think at this point we're probably good no matter what. Average Tyran Yasmin encounter. This actually went like this is as good as I've ever seen it go, honestly. Even with all the range, it's kind of nice because since we actually have all range, then they're kind of actually stacked by accident. Kids of gaming, when somebody welcome. This is like everybody but me is stacked pretty much the whole fight, so it makes it easy. This is amazing by Pug standards. Yep, that went that went very very well. Uh, for a second, I thought this was the guy he's been coaching. <laughs> yeah. Harry's definitely doing that. Worst boss of season three. Yep, 100%. I thought the entire point of Classic was to avoid Cataclysm and all the changes. Uh, that's what it was five years ago, but it's not anymore. I kind of see it though, dude, like I get it. Like now that everybody, like think about anybody who's actually played every expansion weekly for five years. Like I'm talking about the cat, the classic expansions, like, you know, they've made guilds and friends and associations that if they just stopped making content, those things would die. So it's like, all right, fair enough. I could see why they do it. At least it makes sense. Even though I don't think they should do it. Not only a fire mage, but an Azralon fire mage. Love to see the stereotype being broken. What do you, what, in what way was it broken? Harry race swapped, got a good mog, and changed his UI all in before the same day he did his first 26. Yeah. I mean, that guy lost. Him. That's a lot. That's a huge delta between those two players. Azralon players are considered the worst. They still are. Yep. What is this? It is strange that Cata is when most of the classes, classic hardcores say classic becomes bad. I mean, it is, yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. It is definitely, like, this is how it all started. Like, I was a part of the movement. Like, the push to get classic servers, uh, the, the legal ground that people stood on was that the content that we wanted back in the game was not being provided despite us paying for it. And this was how Nostalrius and the private servers that were leading the charge uh, were going about their like refusal to shut down. That was like the legal grounds that they were standing on. And now it's fucking doubly ironic because not only like that movement has just disappeared, but now Blizzard's really just doing it a second time. They're just like, yeah, all right, we're going to remove this a second time. But at least they're actually keeping like actual classic stuff with season of discovery and stuff, I guess. But and like classic era, that's not going anywhere, I guess, right? But still, it's kind of funny. I actually really like classic era. I wish more people played it. I would like to raid on classic era if there wasn't all this GDKP nonsense. I met some, and they explained to me why they are in South America and have to route through USA, so they're starting on bad ping. I've never seen the ping come into play, to be honest. We talked about this a ton. Uh, TLDR, this is, I know somebody who's from that region. His assessment of it is, in Legion, when Mythic Plus pugging started, there was a uh, language barrier problem. People thought like, all right, I'm not gonna play with people from Ragnaros and Astraline because they don't speak English. Whether this is true or not, like I don't really find this as an issue. But anyway, the people who played on those realms at the time and were serious about pugging, they would just leave the realm. Because they're like, well, I'm not going to get unfairly associated with these people who I don't even have any like connection to, you know? So a lot of the good players left. Then it gets to point now, like, you know, years later, 
it's not just a language barrier. Now you have toxic players. Now you have bad players. You have players who are clueless, right? So now we've like gone even further on the snowball. So now like anybody who's there is lumped in with, you know, Asmalon fame. Anybody who is on that realm and doesn't want to get lumped in with that fame leaves. So you just have worse and worse and worse, like the bad players, the toxic players, the, uh, you know, the people with bad internet, whatever you want to say, they become the higher percentage. They come higher and higher and higher percentage year after year after year. It's to the point now where anybody who plays on that realm and sees that they're being lumped in with these bad players, they're just going to leave instantly. And the only people who stay are the ones that don't give a fuck or are the problem, you know, like they're doubling down on the stereotype effectively. So, yeah, that's why it gets worse every season, pretty much. I'm playing hardcore right now, actually. Oh, yeah, I forgot, <laughs> forgot all about hardcore. So there's now three versions of classic. That's kind of crazy. Why doing the same key? What do, what do you want me to do instead? The main issue, I think, is at a certain point, the retail account and classic account have to be merged. I would like that. I would like that to happen, yeah. I was really disappointed by just how many classic players went out of their way to play the game weirdly when it finally came out. Yeah, unfortunately, the classic community killed killed my interest in the product and still is the case like that, but at least uh, the game itself is solid. The main issue I think about is at a certain point, the re I read that, I literally just read that. That is a pretty damn good theory. And that's just what happened. Like, it's not a theory. That's like I said, I know some, I we talked about this heavily in Legion. This guy is kind of like updated it over the years like he's still on that realm and he sees what's going on day to day and like that's just that's just what's happened there he said like even the raiding culture there it's gotten to that point now where it's just like people name their guilds like azralon sucks or something like that. you know what i mean like they've completely just doubled down on the nonsense anybody who's left there just like feeds into the stereotype at this point Because he said, like, now with the Cross Realm thing, there's, like, no reason to be on Azralon. Like, with the guild system and everything going Cross Realm, like, why be on Azralon anymore? Uh, AD again. What happens when we were in Wad Classic and War Within? That'll just feel wrong. I mean, it's probably going to happen, honestly, so I don't know. I guess we'll find out. of powerful artifacts are hidden are in these? the ruins. Collect them. Tuscar tackle box. Just one fish. The same. I have friends that play on Azraline and it is awful for them. The auction house is completely price fixed. Isn't everything cross region now? I guess there's still stuff that's not right. Imagine people taking WAD seriously after all the hate. That would actually be hilarious. I mean, it's the same way with Kata, dude. The amount of, I mean, I, I obviously am a huge espouser of it, but yeah, Akata has not gotten a lot of positive press since its end. And yet people are still talking about being excited. I was just talking to a guy the other day. He had nothing nice to say about uh, Akata like five years ago. And now he's like, I can't wait to play Akata Classic. This is when I started playing the game. It's still there. Just go fucking level a goblin. I really don't see any reason to play Kata. I, I can't, there's not a single thing that would make me want to play Kata. Broadway's or Wad Raids were great though. Oh yeah. I I mean, I, I enjoyed them, but there's no other content besides raids. Like that's the problem. Legion would be the first thing I would ever try to play again. Actually, if it makes it to Wad, they can't merge the accounts. The garrisons would be absolutely abused for gold. <laughs> oh, you mean like flat out merge? I don't think they would ever do that. But I think they would merge like achievements, like things that probably should already be merged. Like, yeah, I think they should do that for sure. The thing is, like, we are way past like the no changes shit. So, like, if they ever did do a garrison again, they would just make it not give a lot of gold. Classic would have much more appeal if I could play to get old achievements on main account. Yeah, that's exactly like, yeah. 
Alright, this is on me. Let's try to survive it instead of run from it. Yeah, you can dust strike in here. Harry just probably didn't have the fucking boss targeted. Harry said he couldn't dust strike while he was in here. Wad, let's nuke the economy again. <laughs> like I said, they they probably wouldn't like ever allow that again. Respect the panic bop. Oh, did I even get bopped? Did that happen? I don't want that. I tested Vocal, he's immune, and my attacks don't leech health from the totem. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Is he actually straight up immune? I thought he takes damage and heals. Is that not how it works? Healer probably watched you stand at hour and with panic in their heart. <laughs> as long as I can death strike. That's why I ice bond to make sure, but as long as I can death strike, we're obviously not gonna die. The other thing though, I think though, the death strike is not being fed into. I think it was classified as like environmental damage because I did not heal much at all while I was in there. I healed just enough to survive, but not as much as I thought I would given how much damage I was taking. I wonder what happened to Season of Discovery characters when it's over. That's a great question because Season of Mastery was not different enough from Classic Era for them, like they can just transfer those characters over. But now with Season of Discovery being so wildly different, like yeah, what the hell is gonna happen to those characters? The Devour damage doesn't count toward Death Strike, yeah, it seems that way. Don't just eat, devour. The environment of your enemy's mouth. <laughs> He's immune to some attacks, it seems, but after time, he just does he does just heal. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Guess we'll pay more attention to that this time. If so one side is over, you either transfer the character or they get deleted. Yeah, I don't think they would ever delete them, but transferring the character to where, you know, like classic era, like I don't, can they go to class? Like what happens to all the gear that's not in classic era and all this stuff? I wonder if season of discovery will be converted to a classic plus type environment. It may very well be the case, you know? They may just make season of discovery permanent and then just do a new seasonal thing after that. I don't know, man, like, I don't know. Hardcore should have just stayed a fucking leveling challenge. Making it its own realm, like, I don't know, it seems so stupid. They're gonna end up with, like, six fucking, six different servers for plastic at some point, it feels like. So it is literally classic plus. Pretty much, yeah. Just the fact that it's like not, you know, that may end though, I think it's probably what a lot of people won't like. Imagine a world where people are optimizing BFD logs. <laughs> and that's happening, yeah. I guess it's already done because BFDs, like, do people actually still raid those? Like, how does that work? It's a world buff for old raids. Beware. What does that mean? Beware. I think the older raids are good experience. Not sure people actually do them. Uh, Three, two, Priest and Sod just has a toolkit, a good toolkit now. Almost took, almost looks as good as retail, which is weird to me. Oh yeah. Beware. Yeah, Shadow Priest actually looks like pretty solid in that product. You can run BFD for experience while lulling after level 25. BFD on a three-day lockout gives nearly an entire level. Oh, wow. So people do still do it. Beware. Beware. 
When it's completed by a team, there's a world buff that goes on. I get the BFC buff every five minutes. Oh, like in the city, just like in a, a Nixia's head or something. That's interesting. I heard that pre-nerf Ironicus has as much HP as Patchwork. Whoa. I mean, that's probably just because of all the new changes to the character power, but... It's like 25% more move speed, 25 spell damage, and AP. Oh, cool. Yeah, Blessing of the Black Fathom. That was actually in the game. It, it's still there in the files, but... Tuned it up. Made it a real buff. Trinket from the last boss in BFD is likely to be BIS in phase three, even at level 50. Oh wow, what the hell? That's classic in a nutshell, I guess. Classic is what ruins it for me, same. I would kind of like that to be a thing in resale too. What? Or leveling content has BIS gear? Don't think that's gonna ever happen, but. BIS gear remaining BIS for more than one season. Yeah, that's definitely not good for anybody. I mean, you pretty much have... I mean, we're still only talking about trinkets, essentially, so it's not like that's that far removed from reality, but... Other than trinkets, nah, that's really, really bad. Gear just doesn't work the same way as it used to. I can see people are still running prop. Yeah, that's, I just immediately thought of the cheat death string. I was like, wait a second, it already happened. But, and you see the problem, like it's gonna be impossible to get the trinket, right? So anybody who doesn't have it, it's gonna have to then try to get it from Mythic Zero. I guess the Mythic Zero is gonna actually be higher, so I guess that's not a really great example anyway, but if there was say something from a different dungeon that wasn't in the game anymore, like see how bad that would be. You can get 510 stone scale from zero, yeah. I guess I'll have to do that. Heroic would be 500, can't you? Yeah, I guess at that point, it's like literally any version is better than what you have, so might as well. We work to rating and the secondary scaling it makes gear feel good at the beginning of the season because there are no non-upgrades, yep. Yeah, I mean, with gearing being as limited as it is in terms of like time investments, I don't really think we want even less gearing to be done, you know? All right, these four pieces I have right now, they're not getting upgraded. Now gearing only takes one week. gonna suck though is it's twice per week to try and get the cheat death why twice per week what do you mean no not upgrades he's never seen my RNG <laughs> it's once per week on zero and unlimited on heroic right 
I still just have a champion scale. It doesn't seem to scale much with eye level. Now it's just a primary stat, pretty much. You can just wear the cheat death you have at the moment. Only thing that would change is stats. Well, that's, yeah, obviously. Probably want to get the stats if you can. Yeah, see, his health is going down. It is, he is healing it up. Beware. just really love getting hit by the stomp today. Oh, did another guy get hit? I didn't even Beware. notice. I only have an avoid scale. I still need a leech one. <laughs> Cauterize, yeah. Cauterize one of them. Beware. Beware. Oh. Wow, that's close. Yeah, we failed it. Beware. No idea why people do this. Try to switch at the last minute. Three, two, Beware. I don't think I've seen this in a high key. Maybe once or twice, but... Maybe Fire Mage and Aug is the best comp. <laughs> Beware. Equally shitty. Beware. Just damage the boss and leech the totems. <laughs> when we did this with Harry, if Beware. I didn't hunt through two totems, we would have failed. Oh, really? That close. Jeez. Is this one the tie? Beware. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I turned my character away. Beware. Three. Beware. Oh, and but see, again, stop fucking not attacking yours. Oh my god, man. Beware. People are so bad at this fight. It's gonna happen again now. Yep. Beware. <laughs> That's a sad, dude. Fucking, this is 26 as well. Beware. Endless fun, yep. Blizzard is removing a game mode from Hearthstone Beware. permanently. Oh, what is it? The Battlegrounds, right? I think I heard Harry talking about that. Beware. He was going to oom at this rate? Oh, yeah, you're right. Beware. The duels mode. A roguelike run. Oh yeah, okay. Beware. Wonder why they would remove something. Beware. Three, two, one. Beware. Are we almost done? They're all equal now. Beware. Are we going to fail it again? Beware. Holy fuck, dude. Beware. Just attack yours. Oh my god, it's so hard. Atal delivers. I don't think I've ever seen this on a high key. This Beware. is like a low key thing, right? It's a low key thing. You don't see this on high key. Beware. The relapse Beware. is real. The funny thing is, this guy's giving up. We can literally still upgrade this very easily. Three, two, one. This is a tall six, right? It's just a mirage. <laughs> The funny part is it's very hard to wipe on this fight if I keep interrupting the spell. <laughs> so he's got this guy was like wants to quit, but it's like you're gonna have to hearth, bro. Like there ain't no quitting. Unless you start getting hit by the jump, I guess. That's the only thing that's gonna kill anybody. Flying around if it happens again, uh it's gonna happen again, hundred percent. 
This fucking guy just Beware. can't stop. Look at you see him auto attacking over there. This guy doesn't know how to press escape. All right, we actually killed it though. It's fine. A five minute, 15 second phase one is completely normal. Yeah, five minutes and 30 minutes. Oh, that's really funny. Oh man, where'd that timer go? <laughs> it's tight now, no doubt. I probably want to upgrade it now, maybe, but. If you wipe now, do you need to repeat totems? <laughs> yeah, dude, there's no fucking checkpoints in wild bosses. That's funny. I'm not wiping, I can solo this easily. Very easily. Actually, I kind of want to wipe though, just because this, this should be a disband, right? Like. I guess there's no way we're upgrading this, so it's either a completion or a disband at this point, but... That's odd. How was the oom? <laughs> Good question. I doubt they stay even if you did finish the fight. I guess we'll find out. Find out the hard way. Double Priest Augmeta. <laughs> Surprised someone didn't instant leave. It's not like you can't leave while the boss is in combat, right? Like that's what I'm saying. The guy would have to hearth. I don't think the fight would allow you to hearth anyway. This is the metro I know. Just need the pet for old time's sake, yeah. This is where the mage closes the gap on overall. Yeah, he's gonna make up for it right here. Right here, right now. The magician's time to shine. Yep. Still only done 17 million more than the Red Pally. Is this holding them hostage? No, I'm not demanding any ransom. He's just saving his CDs. Massive burst is about to come in. Oh shit. I like Red, but I don't appreciate getting gapped so hard and overall all day. <laughs> yeah, Red's crazy. Such a powerful pug pick, especially. Life falls with W. Fire Mage doing damage? <laughs> you joking or serious? Yeah, he's doing damage. Tuned into a classic, yep. That was why I don't think I've ever seen that on an actual high key. As long as everyone else does no damage, they'll do great. Yep, Fire Mage is really good in a vacuum. You drink? They're coming, bro. This is not gonna be a disband. It looks like, yeah. At least not yet. There's a lot of people out there who are like, I think we're good still, right? 10 minutes is fine. This dungeon's quick. Three, two, then when one. 10 minutes go by, they'll leave. Oh, this is not in time. Sorry. Thanks for wasting 10 minutes of our time. We did already pull the middle. <laughs> but yeah, no. I think even if we were on the right side right now, it'd probably still not be. Is that the longest Mythic Plus boss ever? Solo say is probably our Kurgan now. What was that, like a seven and a half minute fight? Nah, eight and a half. Wow, that's fucking eight and a half on one fight? Holy shit. There's only one million left on Alunza. Can we time this? Yeah, for real. One, mil one minute, yeah.
keep going, see maybe there's some shot at it. Two screamers up still? I can't click that one, the stupid wall is stopping me from clicking it. If they don't want to quit, more power to them. Glad to hear it. Honestly. Pretty much at this point, like, Alunza would have to be dead to still upgrade this with this time, right? The rest of the group knows they'll be on the spreadsheet if they leave. <laughs> nah, this would be... This one's uh, kind of... Man, this is like one of the funnier keys of the season, right? This needs to be disbanded so I can go in that disband video that I might make. This one is an honorable mention as a completion. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. It really should be an honorable mention. Ten point two point seven is on the Blizzard launcher. 2.7? Oh, so there's gonna be another patch still, I guess? We'll have Draenei and Troll Heritage Armor. Oh, shit, dude. I can't wait for that. That's probably gonna be after the beta started, though. That's gonna suck, actually. Going from the beta back to the live game for a leveling challenge, that's gonna kinda suck. I'm definitely doing that. As soon as I drain I heritage armor, I'm doing that. And if I if they do when they do the troll, I'm gonna do a troll range survival hunter. That's my goal. I've been thinking about that for months. Boss with trash? Nah, it's totally out of time at this point, so no need to make it any harder. This guy doesn't know you can stand at max range and not get charged. Can't believe that. Actually, one shot him though. Wasn't able to catch this key. What happened? Uh, it took us eight and a half minutes to beat Vocal. Because, oh, what's this? I always love hearing the song. Oh, the Paladin died. Oh. Well, thanks a lot, Turd Ferguson, for becoming a Patreon. That's very nice of you. Love hearing that sound. It's definitely my favorite gaming song ever. I don't think we'll time this now. What song was that? That is the Gen 2. This said. Like, I just really don't get these people. 
I'm not gonna stay, it's not in time. Okay, then why are you still here? Leave now after, yeah, it's like, do you, I think there is people who genuinely don't have any idea how long anything takes in a dungeon. Like, I'm not great at it, but like, that's, that's just like, you're just fucking clueless. If you think we had, can upgrade that with 10 minutes left after vocal. call. It's a vocal call situation, giving me Cuban missile crisis vibes. <laughs> so many wasted days in Cerulean Cape trying to farm that shiny Mewtwo. Ah, <laughs> wow. Shiny Mewtwo, yeah. Anyway, the answer, it's the uh, when you play Golden Sun and Crystal and then go back to Johto or to Kanto, that's the song that plays in the gym leaders in Kanto's gyms. And that is so iconic for so many reasons. Not, of course, because it sounds badass, but not only just because of that, also because it's the only Pokemon game that's ever allowed you to face a second gym league. It's fucking amazing. That's like the best game Pokemon should have stopped there, honestly. Which Pokemon game is your all-time favorite? Just answered it. Well, vanilla Pokemon game. My favorite Pokemon game is the one I made. Which I do think is obviously my favorite Pokemon game. Pokemon Reborn is really, really good too, if you guys have never played Pokemon Reborn. Hopefully those games are still going though. I know Relic Castle got shut down and there's a lot of talk. I don't know if those games are still out there or what, but... Have you seen the mount they locked behind Cataclassic? Pay us money version? Maybe not. I don't know. Is it the... Isn't it the, the Fire Lord looking one? Like it's a Ragnaros looking mount? I think I've seen Faxi with that. I've seen somebody with that. I don't know. I, keep, I, can't, I don't get these either. Like, can you just answer the question? I mean, I don't... Are you this much of a fucking coward? You can't give your reasoning? Oh, okay. It blocks me. Hilarious. Fucking pathetic. All right. Well, at least that goes on the span sheet. That's the best part about that. Dix priest, mage, paladin, warrior. Eighty fucking dollars for Cataclassic. Pay us money edition. <laughs> Do you play sod now? It's the brain damage Ragnaros. <laughs> it is good looking. Yeah. Insane ret representation. Uh, they're without question the most popular DPS spec right now. Let's see their actual stats. Well, okay, so this is going to look different than what I just said because Demon Hunter has dominated all season. But if you look at probably only the last six or seven weeks, I think it's ret by a mile. Like, let's scroll up until we see a week two again. All right, so this is a full week of gameplay. 97. Now let's compare it to Demon Hunter for that same full two weeks, or full uh, ten weeks. 55 only. So yeah, in the last ten weeks we had double the red pallies. I don't really even know why. How many totem resets are in eight minutes? We have failed to do it three times, yeah. It, re it healed three times. It does because numbers are hard. What do you mean? Third try, best try. Actually, we already upgraded it once. Poaching it all this week? Hopefully, yeah. We'll see. Harry's in London right now. Usually, this is a volatile mixture for him. He has some bad influence friends and cousins in there. So sometimes when he goes, he just doesn't come back. He's supposed to be there for a doctor's appointment, so presumably he will return tomorrow and be here, but you never know. Brett's damage skyrockets with the legendary. I think that's why they're so popular towards the end. Yeah, but they would have had to have been playing the whole time to get the legendary, right? I guess they just weren't doing Mythic Plus the whole time or something. Jungle Gym, what's up, buddy? It's also immortal in keys. I do agree with that. They're very, very powerful. Hey, Jungle Jim, what are you up to, though? Hopefully having a good day so far.
Big Chillin animated a character for a fighting game coming along nicely. Oh, yeah. You make games or you're a graphic artist or something? I wonder what the Atalas are of next season will be. Unfortunately, I don't see there being one. Like, we already know what all those dungeons offer, you know? The best we can get is probably not good because it's just going to be a fucking mess with people without interrupts. But I don't think it's enough. Like, it's not going to kill people on low-key levels. And without the Azure vaults falling thing, like, I don't... Yeah, it's probably... That was the one, like, from the Dragonflight pools that was the wildest. But they removed that. Not good and Bracken are likely bangers. Bracken had that one really, really wild key because the guy went left and it was just super toxic. But other than that, yeah, that dungeon I don't think had any real funny moments in Season 2. I don't really remember it, at least. The Season 2 of the four that were Dragonflight, the big one was Halls because that frog... We have a really funny clip of that where the guy uh, just gets fucking stomped on every single time the frog jumps. Now, Theris, last boss is a contender. Hmm. Nah, that's just nothing like it at all, unfortunately. Knockout is going to cause a lot of wipes when people fail to skip. Fail to skip, what does that mean? It's funny he said a tall of the season. I thought he meant the easiest key. Oh, yeah. He's talking about these crazy low keys that we've been uploading. I think Azure will be funny to watch for sure. I don't know that most general population players know how to do the trash instead of the skip. I wouldn't really say there's anything to do. It's actually the easiest trash in there. It's just long. I think Chain Boss is more problematic than the last boss. Yeah, that boss had a lot of bugs and shit. Didn't they remove Stormbolt from one of those mobs and knock? I'm not really sure, but last when we had copped it, it was like multiple levels higher than any other key. So I don't know about that, but be right back. What is this? They invited like some troll pick or something? Is this one of you guys? Warriors 414 item level. <laughs> what the hell? What key is this even? I don't remember. Rise, right? That was strange.
<laughs> I don't know what the, I assume that was somebody from the stream, but nobody said anything, so it was kind of just awkward. You have more rets now because the legendary started going out and they got buffed. Yeah, when did they get buffed? Was it in the the yeah? It was like ten point two point five or whatever, right? I am almost done with the uh, profession tree or whatever for mining. I think I might actually be, I, I don't need much. I need eight more points. I can also see many Havocs rerolling to Rhett if their alt got a legendary. Yeah, it's just hard to believe that they're able to reroll mid season and have it too, but. Joined the kickball league, didn't realize the running would be sprinting. I do like cardio, but I'm sore as fuck after properly running fast for the first time in years. The big difference between running and other cardio is your whole body's muscles have to be engaged when you start running. Most people keep one to two extra characters up to date just in case. You think like they would continue to raid just in case they got the legendary? The infinite dragon fight is already they could raid tank on Pra and Vengeance and get it easy after a bit, yep. That makes sense. I went to do pull-ups and wondered why the fuck my back and arms were sore. Yep. Because you hit the ground and the reverberation goes all the way up your spine into your skull, basically. And so your whole, like, core and even shoulders, you know, they're going to get worked when you run. Hey, Denoise, it's somebody welcome. Gear durability check. What, well, just in case? Kyle's, re Kyle's repairing the dungeon, so. Feels good, to be honest, the soreness. Yeah, no doubt. Running is not something I've done in an extremely long time, but. I don't know, my knees and ankles are fucked from basketball, but. Don't think I would want to do much running anymore days. Excited for season four, yes. What the hell? Is that a thing? Keep the mods. Everybody stay still like in free old, I guess. Good luck with keys. This running talk reminds me I need to do some exercise. Yeah, me too, man. Did go for a little walk this morning, but not very long. You're also up on your toes when you sprint, so it engages different muscles. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I got a curry right ankle. You got that zombie ankle. Yeah, that's crazy, huh? Kicks might be tight in this group. Yeah, we're, whatever. You could probably not kick multiple of those. We had multiple go off in the last dungeon and nobody died. Is it pizza day? What, like, am I gonna get pizza tonight? No, it's Tuesday. I don't think most pizza places are only open Wednesday through Sunday here. Monday and Tuesday, a lot of them are closed. I just had pizza yesterday, though. I had leftovers from the weekend. Went to Shelly's, one of my favorite places. My top three. You guys already know Shelly's, Sabatini's, and Ravello's. Top three pizza around here. I don't know how this is still on. I thought I turned this off.
My family's back in Kentucky said there were parties up everywhere in Lexington for Calipari leaving. Oh, really? That does not surprise me, to be honest. What, what did they call the celebration? <laughs> It's done here. That could have been really bad. Beware. I guess it's already really bad, though. Ten deaths there. Party's getting clapped. Yeah, I really don't understand why. Just like no kicks, I guess, at all. Beware. Mage, stop dying. This is your pull for the dungeon. <laughs> Healer's done a total of 36,000 HPS, Beware. 4 million healing, so I don't know what the fuck that's about. It's just dead the whole dungeon, I guess. Beware. Four deaths already, that's pretty wild. Right, that's 12 deaths across four players, so. <laughs> Beware. As long as it wasn't like LeBron to Miami, Cleveland kind of thing. Beware. What are you talking about? That's messed up, wasn't Kentucky's coach love for many years? It is messed up, I actually agree with that, but I don't know that he was ever loved. I remember even when he was on Memphis, right? Wasn't he the coach of Memphis? I remember I knew somebody who was a big fan of Memphis. They were really happy that he left Memphis to go to Kentucky. Was gonna say spicy pull on fort, but forgot NA reset already. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it wasn't saying rain, I would do the same pull on fort too, but a lot harder to survive, no doubt about that. Big damage AOE on the dragon by the door will be fun. Oh no, this trash should be very easy in here otherwise. 12 deaths on the first pull, it's fine, only one minute off the timer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that didn't really slow us down much. This is a pretty good split, actually. I can't see how a college fan base would be excited about constant one and done players, right? People probably just didn't like the culture it brought. And then once it started, like, backfiring, it just became pointless, right? There's one thing when he had fucking... 10 McDonald's All-Americans, right? You get NBA first-rounders every year and lose in the first round. What's the point? Yeah, exactly. But your path ends here. Just rubs me the wrong way. Like, if Coach K starts losing a lot, a lot of people... Well, hold, hold on. Coach K was there for 40 years. That's a little different. But yeah, I get your point. Let's say like Tom Izzo or somebody who's only been there for like 10 years or 15 years or something. It's definitely not a good look, I agree, but... I think a lot of people probably never wanted him to be there, given how he coached and how he operated. It's not just about the losing, you know? It's about the inability to build a program around the strategies that he has. Do they have any four-year players? How long was Azabuki there? He was there for more than one year, I know that.
Wait, is that or was that kid from Kansas? What's the name of the guy from? What's the kid from the the African player from Kentucky? I don't even remember what that guy's name is. Oscar Shibway, that's it. How long was he there for? That was like the last great player they had. He intentionally recruited one and done players or kids who would transfer after the season. That's just not how you win now, nope. We not have five people like that. No, Cat did not win. Oh wait, oh, yeah, actually, I can't remember. Carl Anthony Towns. That was the the ten McDonald's All American year, right? Anthony Davis was just like a regular. They had, they had a good team, but not that crazy team. They went undefeated and then lost to. Wisconsin 2015 that was he's a good coach but his time was up being in the same place for 15 years is a good run yep wasn't the national championship with him yep I mean they had uh, also they had many seasons where they went to the final four but like I said like compared so th like those th the thing that isn't maybe obvious is that like those days his strategy was obvious and it worked and they still didn't win national championships right but then like the strategy that he's employing has failed like it's no longer relevant with the nil and the trade shit and the transfer shit right but he's still trying to do it and instead he's just getting worse players and they still leave after one year anyway so it's like it's like literally just not working. Like just you gotta, he's gotta leave if the team wants to win. Like that's the only option. So it's not that people are mad that he started losing. It's just that like we have no choice but to replace him, and that's been obvious for years now. Like that to me, that that was clear three, four years ago when COVID happened. Because his strategy is clearly not attracting players that are like able to win in college. AD shows on the 2012. Yeah, that's it. 2012 is when they won the national championship. 2015 is the year that they had the best team like ever assembled in college basketball and then still lost. What's GG about that? Yeah, nothing. Nothing good or game about that. I was typing an email, looked up to see some Olympic level bad baiting. Yeah, welcome to WoW. NIL ruined co ruined college sports. I I think it's uh, I'm I don't know. I I have two different opinions on it because it's changed the way college sports work. But I think it's good that they get money for sure. I just don't necessarily want cl players who are there only for money. Like don't go to college if you're trying to make a job out of it. That's not why people should be in college. That's like really, that's really bad for everybody if that's the case. Really bad for everybody. But unfortunately, like, you know, they are producing a lot of money and finance for the university, so they should definitely be compensated for that value they're adding to the team. I think the healer lost internet connection. Yeah, it looks like he's just DC'd. Maybe he'll come back though. We can wait. All the 12, 2012 team had was AD and Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was actually just a good team. Like, they just had a good team and they had a good run. But uh, the 2015 team was, like, broken, like, like unfair. Like, if that was the NBA, that would have been can't Those transactions would have been canceled kind of thing, you know? 58k healing seems bad. I feel like that dude didn't... That name sounds extremely familiar. Is that one of you guys? I think that is, isn't it? Is that Jim?
That name sounds insanely familiar. Didn't, didn't Harry just play with this guy? I don't even remember who was on the team, but yeah. Carl Anthony Towns was like the number one on the team. And then, oh, Devin Booker. Oh, he was on the team that season as well. Okay. And then the, the twins, the brothers, who were they? Hey man, just popped in to ask. You know your uh you know you're the problem if you're depleting slash disbanding 80% of your keys, right? I uh, no, that's not first of all, we're not just not doing that, but anyway, I yeah, I don't know why you're even saying. I guess you just come in here to act like an idiot, right? Welcome. You'll fit in well with some people. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the wild community. I think it was the evoker. What, well, and one of the keys? Okay, we got rise. 26, no, that's 25 only. Unironically typing that statement out, then hitting enter, <laughs> especially after that, yeah, what we just saw. Yeah, that was definitely my fault that people didn't soak the boss. I should have life gripped the other two people in. Holy Priest, Lock, Fire Mage, and Hunter. It's also funny how people conflate disbands and dis depletes as if they're the same thing. Those are very different things. Don't see what people get out of jumping onto a stream just to be a negative. Uh, it's because they have, we've talked about this a lot actually. It's because they don't have anything positive that gives them dopamine hits anymore. They are now addicted to negativity. This is like a commonly uh, studied thing in the psycho like the emergent psychology fields in the world right now. A lot of people, uh, they assume it's because of like the cell phone use and the over stimulation of things that are supposed to be good. Like if you're surrounded by things that all give you some dopamine reaction it stops becoming something that you look for. And then you start looking for like the antithesis of it, which would be the negative response to the positive. So it's actually very uh, common and unfortunately probably the cause of the mental health crisis the world's going through. But it doesn't seem like there's any guaranteed way to stop it other than cut off all media, which obviously isn't gonna happen. But I suppose eventually the human brain will adapt to it and maybe down the road it'll even out, but I had to take a call. Did I miss the fun part? No, you just missed some fucking idiot in chat. With no regulation, it's too chaotic. Do you mean college basketball still? Uh, this is, this is fall, isn't it? It's also your fate, fall that you baited the cones on the inside. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, for NIL. Yeah, the whole NIL thing is basically just like how baseball was before they did that luxury cap. Just whoever has the most money gets the most money sent out to, you know? It's kind of unfair. I think people just feel shit about themselves, so they want others to feel shit too. Pro yeah, that's pretty much what I mean, yeah. Like, they no longer derive pleasure from things that are meant to be pleasurable, so the only default is, is unhappiness. And then so when you're like, when you've like inverted this, like, reward pathway in your brain, then the only way to get the results that are normally expected are to go further down into it, you know what I mean? Like, it's supposed to be like a hill, like, that was great. Okay, now it's normal. Oh my god, that was even greater. Now it's normal. This is the best thing ever. Now it's normal, you know what I mean? So when you've inverted it, it's like, now what? You know what I mean? Like, that. the only way to go forward is to be more and more. And if you're on the negativity scale instead of the positivity scale, then you act like that. My main thing I don't get is why even come here and type if you don't agree? I mean, I don't know, that dude hasn't said anything since, so who knows, but... 
It's like a drug addict. Yeah, it's exa it's it is there are there are drug addicts. Like we're all drug addicts to some degree because of how brain chemistry works, but a lot of people unfortunately just are not able to balance their like they, they don't understand their brain chemistry, I guess is probably the best way to put it. They're not able to balance their responses from their needs. Like if you look at like a kid who's like chronically addicted to like technology nowadays you're going to see the same behavior across every single person. And that's because it's pure addiction. Like their brain and body are re responding to something in, in a way that is trigger based purely. Like they're not making conscious decisions of it. And I don't think people like are teaching kids how to deal with that, unfortunately. So they're just like following that train until it takes them so far that they can't come back from it. I love this response to a troll. He just gets psychoanalyzed. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> this isn't the first time we've dealt with it. Another D's nuts name, Fell D's Balls. That's, uh, that's probably a lot clever, more clever than the previous one at least. The previous one was just strange. Oh yeah, you want to lust here. Whatever. You just wonder how these people handle something serious happening in their lives. They don't. Yeah, that's the thing. I think a lot of that is... Like, I'm not really sure what to say about that, but I do believe it is a, like, chronic response to a fear of commitment to anything. Like, I think if you're constantly attached to the internet and not spending any time progressing your life... That's probably because uh, you're just n in fear of it happening. So I was like that when I was young, too. I felt like I didn't want to grow up, you know what I mean? And so I just continued to stick around on habits that never really went anywhere. And, you know, ultimately you see the results of it here. But at least I was able to change, you know, from just playing games into making a career out of it, luckily. Uh, do you know any good resources for what you just talked about? I think about ways to implement dealing with screen addiction with my daughter. Would be interested in a more, and being more well read on it. Everything I've learned has just been learned from stuff on the internet, and obviously, probably the most popular one, at least last time I looked, was Dr. Andrew Huberman. But I'm sure there's an enormous amount of resources online about brain chemistry now. I feel like about 10 years ago, it was not talked about ever. Everybody just talked about psychology because like I think you know a lot of people think this is a conversation about psychology But in reality, it's a conversation about brain chemistry Biochemistry in general, what's that guy doing? These are conversations about actual chemicals in the body and not just choices and decisions that you make What the fuck was that? <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I bet it's probably growing in popularity on the internet nowadays, so. It's like Peter Pan syndrome, the boy who doesn't want to grow up. Oh, yeah. What the fuck, IDC? Game's laggy per usual since update. I've never had to be laggy once after an update. Healer let Chronosphere run duration on you. Yeah, the guy was like AFK or DC'd, I guess. He was running in the corner. Did you see that? Yeah, he didn't actually DC, but 
he was pretty much offline, I guess. At least I didn't see him. Do Maybe he did, I don't know. He was like over here in the corner running against the wall. See Metro, that's totally your fault. Yep, 100%. Just like a tall two where there was four totems or uh, four phases of the first, uh, four rotations of the first phase mechanic. I mean, I could see it on four or five, man. Like, I do some shit that just gets me killed and ends up looking bad, but so much of the disbands are on Tyrannical Week. It's. Yeah, I don't know what I can do differently. Other than fucking solo it, there's not much you can do at times. What are the affixes? Uh, entangling, busting. Killer's back, never mind. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Let's see what it looks like, I guess. You're supposed to keep people from DCing? Oh, okay. This would be a good week for Harry to learn strafing. Oh, right. I have a tangling. Oh, God. Watch. He's going to get fucking hit so many times by that. He's going to be stunned like 50% of the dungeon. You could race. Race to you coming. Oh, actually, no. I see what you mean now because he constantly turns his backs to mobs. Yeah, this is going to be a fun week if he does end up doing some this week. He's just going to like turn around and fucking. Get hit. And environmental damage from busting. You'd be like, why isn't my death strike healing me? <laughs> I don't think he notices that much. He's basically not able to look at the key things on his UI right now. You actually only have three more disbands on Tyrant over four. Oh, really? In previous seasons, it was like 30% more. But still, that's obviously over half of them, so. I love your commitment to calling it busting. What do you mean? It is busting, you're just mistaken. <laughs> yeah. I miss quacking too, man. That was a good fix. Certainly better than some of the ones we have now. I just hated how it used to do damage no matter what. It was unfair. Metro is saying busting. He never said busting. What do you mean? As DK main, I'm so glad Sanguine is over. Busting is easy mode, just pop AMS. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a lot easier. And Miss Overflowing, the best Blood Death Knight fix ever. I didn't play Blood at that point. Did it, like, did your Death Strikes cause it too, or was it only actual heals from the healer? I can't remember how it worked. Try to corrupt the true timeline, the 
to invade the bronze temple to do so. Your death strike caused it, but I think it also then canceled it. Oh, okay. That was like that was season one of Legion, which is like the worst Blood Death Knight has ever been in its entire design structure, I think. Remember they didn't even have Icebound Fortitude in that first season? They had basically no actual DR. Really weird. Is this dungeon staying for season four Mythic Plus? No. It's gonna only be there for like the Mythic Zero equivalent. Seemingly. I won't miss this dungeon. I don't know. I quite like. I mean, I, don't, I never had any issue with it. Beware. I think this dungeon hard mode has better reward next season. Yeah, that's correct. That's uh, a lot of anomalies for intervals. Beware. Is there going to be a hard mode? There's going to be a hard mode of this that can reward hero level gear. Yeah, that's right. I think there's already a hard mode, but yeah, it's just going to get scaled up, I guess. Hard mode right now is bring a fire mage. <laughs> Don't know why they gave Fall such a comically long timer, and then let Rise be what it is. The only thing I could think of is it like it's playing out differently than they expected it to. That's the only thing that makes any sense. But I don't know in which direction that would happen. It feels like most dungeons have a comically long timer. Fall is even more long than most, I think, at this point. But a tall Black Rook, Waycrest, these all felt that way at one point on the earlier key levels, especially. Rise was never really like that. It was never very lenient, even at low levels. Could just be the fact that Rise has like a lot of movement, like non-combat timing, you know? Like the other side syndrome, we saw that a lot in the other side. You're out of combat for like nine minutes at a time. Nine minutes of dungeon. Beware. Stuff like that. God has backtracked at parts where you just run with no mobs. Yeah, it's not that uncommon, but I guess maybe it's the dungeon with the most of it. And that maybe is, you know, like we saw with the other side, like, it's, Blizzard has a lot of trouble translating that to an actual timer, I guess, for some reason, since they always seem to be that way. The dungeons with the most of that always end up being the tightest timers, which is strange, because you would think, you know, you just look at how much out of combat time there is and then just adjust it based on what you expected, but I don't know. Pump smash with somebody welcome. I think, like, inherently high amounts of out of time also means... Uh, high amounts of time where you could optimize your gameplay better just statistically like if you're out of combat it's bad so you should not be out of combat for that much time but I think rise is unique in that way too where a lot of the time simply is around zero trash mobs like you can't do anything about it there's no real way to get the mobs through the portals I, I, I think there was people snapping them at times right but like for the most part these mobs that you're fighting in some segments are only fightable in their segments and they cannot leave and so that means you can never be in combat in certain areas of the dungeon like that interstitial area where you run from the three bosses that can never there's no combat possible in that area right unless you do some snapping i think is that where people were doing it i don't know but i know there was some shenanigans going on at one point Beware. 
boss does not seem fun at this level? Nah, it's, it's a tough one. This dungeon is much, much, much harder on Tyrannical. Metro dispel better. This was your fault. Yep, another one of my fault, huh? Fuck, man. I love this boss as melee. Hate it as caster. This healer threw, though. Oh, yeah, did he actually fail the dispelling? I didn't really see. And the boss is still gonna die, so that's whatever. If we invited a vengeance, this would have never happened. <laughs> Maybe that's the comment. Maybe that's the complaint. I'm playing the wrong spec. I chose fault he didn't fly to the healer's house and play the game for him. I could technically do that, yeah, you're right. That would at least stop it from disbanding, but I don't know if that could stop it from depleting. That would make it worse. It wouldn't have happened if we had three Windwalker monks. That's, I guess, true, yeah. We probably wouldn't have started the dungeon if we had three Windwalker monks, though, so that's also true. It's a little late in the season to learn, but is there any mechanics you have to do as a tank other than avoid orbs? No, this fight had a tank mechanic on Mythic Zero, but they got rid of it for Mythic Plus for some reason. So it was like actually just a zero tank mechanic fight. I guess I should start AMSing though. Now that it's only me and him every time. Actually avoid the mechanic. Funny thing is, this is Till. Still timeable. Uh, probably, but it's getting really close now. <laughs> we got a full wipe to the first boss, and now we're going to have a six minute fight here, or whatever, five and a half, probably. This guy could do some actual damage, would be alright, but. I always forget to use my pet as a blood decay. Do you have any recommended spells to macro it? Nah, you just gotta get used to using it. You could macro it to something, I guess. That's that's the one thing that's like has pretty much no defensive value, so. But you don't want to macro it to something that you accidentally use like way out of combat or at the end of a pack or something like that, you know? Ideally, you would use it at the right time and then you just try your best with it. I hope this will not disband. I want to see the third boss with the orbs. Yeah, it's gonna disband. I can already tell by the Rapali talking so much. Fucking, what was his comment on the first boss? Could you stop tanking him in the middle so I don't have to run to the edge? Like, just don't run to the edge? What, like, <laughs> what the fuck? This key becomes a wall at 28. The last boss is six minutes alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's actually probably the key that's the hardest at the higher level versus the early level.
I still think Throne gets that award just because of the flame shock. Oh, just one one mechanic. I feel like you have to have more than just one mechanic for that to be the reason. I have tracked the infinites to a place, a moment where I dare not tread. You're not coming with us. I shall be with you. Through. It's going to be close. don't get why they don't move old betas or whatever on the launcher. Uh, they do. I mean, I don't have any betas on my launcher, do you? Maybe it's because you still have them installed. You can just uninstall them and then they'll go away. Still have Shadowlands and BFA beta. Okay, yeah, those definitely are not there for me, so. Probably just need to uninstall the actual files for them and then they'll be gone for you, too. Red is working on his excuse for when he leaves. Oh, that's, you know. Just your standard, like, I'm a coward, but not such a coward that I'm, 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 I'm a coward and I'm too much of a coward that I won't leave first. I'll try that, but I never play BFA on this computer. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I can just show you mine, though, real quick. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's all that's there for me. No betas at all. Beware. Do you have any advice for new tanks to calculate count and merit on rise? Uh, you can just use MDT, obviously, the add-on. Maybe you don't know about it, but there's an add-on that basically like allows you like a sandboxable map that you can see exactly how much count everything gives and then practice. But probably the problem you're having in that dungeon is that sand room with all the green, well, the green on my screen, but there's like a bunch of elites in that room. If you're going to do the exact route I do, you need 71.6 in that, out of that room. Uh -oh. That's Which is pretty much like you have to pull like every, I think every, every but two of those mobs in there. Westy shows rune locations and steps for Todd. Yeah, that's cool. It's actually more than 70. I think it's there's 71.1 and then 71.6 you can get from that room. So if you don't have MDT, you don't actually know what the exact count is, I guess. I didn't realize that was a feature until Harry started doing it. Beware. I gotta die again. What's going on in chat? I don't even know. I want to see if I can see this here, though. I guess I can AMS when it goes out, right? Is that one way to do it? Let's try that. Hey, what happened? It went on somebody who's gone or dead or something? Do I need to AMS before it starts? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to solo this boss. Gotta be a way. He's gonna do the reclamation now, and then after that, he's gonna do the other thing, right? AMS now? No, okay, it didn't stop it from going on me. So we could try to Lichborn preemptively. That's the only other idea I have. Or maybe I need to AMS preemptively instead. Lichborn now. 
Nah, it still charms me. I don't know. I randomly survived this one day, and I don't know how. Still can't figure it out. Last season, you weren't on your main for the last few weeks, right? So you didn't see all the nonsense. Right, yeah. Pretty much my father died, and that was the end of the season for me. I didn't touch my death end again much at all. I think I tried like two or three times after that, but it was like I had, yeah, I only did like one day maybe or something like that. You can meld it? No, then the boss would just reset. I think maybe the pet needs to be out. Or I don't know. I don't I don't fully understand it, but I, there was one time I did get mind controlled there, and I still don't know how. Okay, Paladin, Hunter. Well, those guys still have two weeks to learn this boss, at least. <laughs> so, week four is the fixes. Are the last this season? No, week threes will be the last. This is uh, the second to last week. This week, and then the patch is the 23rd, right? Or the season is the 23rd? Or is it not the 23rd? Maybe it's the 30th? I think it's the 23rd, isn't it? I don't even remember. All right, I want to take a look at this, though, real quick. Stats. It's the 23rd. Okay. Uh, so in terms of actual disbands. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's only... Well, now it's up to four more. I guess before it was three more. No, now it's five more. Sixty-one percent from fifty-one percent. So that's kind of a difference. How can I access that document? I want to see the AD run you went left on, bro. Uh, it's just in the description if you want to see the document, yeah. That's not going to be on the document, though, so you just have to go through every at all. Can you look up the percentage for the DPS specs that share the most spans? I mean, you can. Anybody can access this, and that's why I made it, because I knew that there would be a lot of questions that could be answered by this spreadsheet. Okay, three o'clock, we'd get a couple more in here today and then I gotta do the raid. It's actually been fun though, like playing only once a week makes you kinda miss it. I wonder how the ratio works out because I'm sure you have a lot of Demon Hunter and Red disbands, but that's just because you have a lot of Demon Hunter and Reds in general. So if you wanna see the individual, individual stats, this is how you would look at it. Uh, you can look at, here is the percentage of disbands with said Demon Hunter, said Paladin, blah, blah, blah. So you see 47% of the Demon Hunters, uh, or is it? 47% of the disbands have a Demon Hunter in them. Okay. Not 47% of the Demon Hunters that join end up in a disband, but I guess that's, no, that's the same thing actually, yeah. But the way you want to use it as a comparison tool is by seeing the impact rate. I don't fully understand what this means. Somebody who understands statistics made this for me. Uh, but you can tell how big of an impact they're having on the disband number by looking at this and comparing it. So even though uh, the absurdly high percentage of the amount that a Demon Hunter and a Paladin are present, 40% of the time, but their disband impact rate is actually very low. It's like below average or maybe right at the average line. I should make an average chart here, actually. Let me do that. I don't know if average, I don't, I don't think you want average. Wait, what? Oh. 
Wait, what? Is there not a... You have to do that, I guess. Okay. So the average is 56.46%. So yeah, Rep Pally and Demon Hunter are actually below the average. Has there only been Death Knight tanks? Are they really that common? It's just me, yeah. It's just me. I'm the only one on the sheet. But like I said, you can use the sheet for your own stats and it's made so anybody can use it. Like it's modular, you know? But yeah, I don't think uh, average is what we want, isn't it? Like, I don't understand statistical analysis. <laughs> I always tell the story, but I took statistics in college and I just couldn't take the class serious because this guy had this absurd, like he was a, like a, an Asian man. I don't know of what type, but he had this absurd accent. It was like almost impossible to not like listen to him and laugh. And the thing I remember the most from the class is not the actual math, but the fact that every time he said the word Z-score, he said Z-squirrel. For some reason, Z-squirrel. We laughed about that for years after that. But anyway, I don't really understand statistics, but I'm pretty sure average is not something that you use for statistical analysis. It's like median or something. Deviations from the something or other. I don't know, but either way. That's probably not the right actual thing, but... I'm working as an analyst and I'm kind of sick of Excel. Oh yeah. I had a history of contemporary China class. It was a 400 level and I was a freshman. I could not understand a single word she was saying, so I had to drop it. Yeah, that's, that wasn't an option where I went, unfortunately. That's the only guy we could take. Lichborn, what do you mean? Z squirrel, not Lichborn, no. What raid are you doing? Heroic Firek or Mythic? Yeah, it's gonna be Mythic. We'll just plug that real quick. Lich porn prevents charm. Oh yeah, no, it didn't. It didn't there in case you didn't see that. That's what I tried to use, but I think I actually need to AMS beforehand. Cause I'm pretty sure in the case where I didn't get mind controlled. I had the orb. I was thinking that I could prevent myself from getting the orb. That would make it a lot easier, but I don't think that's possible. Other than we also tried to have the pet out and um, shadow melt, but that didn't work either. There is no excuse not being able to pronounce words properly. As someone who learned a second language in adulthood, it is possible to correctly say sounds not native to your own language. That's like right out of Curb Your Enthusiasm finale, right? I try not to judge that sort of stuff, but in a learn learning environment, I have to be able to understand. Yeah. Huh? So I ended up specializing in Latin American history, so it was totally out of my realm. Oh, yeah. Do people actually try to pug this nonsense? Anyway, I love the spreadsheet. I think it's a great resource. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I, I do too. Hopefully more people... I, I hoped it would catch on more at this point, but... It's basically just a disband spreadsheet. What's that BTM about? He basically just explained it. But for some reason, Raider IO says I'm not allowed to participate. So the guy won't invite me. BTM is a personal thing. I know. I mean, I know it is, but so it's regular score.
BTM is only Bear, Prat Warrior, and Brew Monk. Right? It's I don't get why. What is this? Why did that just flash? Wow is down now. BTM feels so fucking lame when 70% of the keys are vengeance spam. But they disqualify half the tanks anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's really stupid. Vengeance is so meta, it has a spell named meta. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's based off percentages, I think, and it's third. Just weird to do it that way. You think it would be based off percentage of keys, not just all participants. Like, imagine if there was a time when, like, 99 out of 100 keys were done as Prot Warrior, like in BFA. And then they said, whatever, the second one was also meta. <laughs> it's like, what? Sucks if you ever main in the meta. <laughs> it's just weird. Did I already turn? Yeah, I already turned this in. Fuck. Since Prop Pally and Bloody K are second and third most played respectively, they're not allowed in. Even though the meta is literally vengeance or anything else. Right, it's just stupid because that's not what meta means, right? Like, how many times have we had this conversation? <laughs> Rest of Shaman here. I guess we'll not be meta. We'll not be meta next season. No, no. But DK is meta in the stream, that's all that matters. <laughs> Until Vengeance loses the double sigil talent, it will be the only tank played at the highest of keys for the foreseeable future, gotcha. It's got a good point about DPS at least, but if that's actually what the logic they're using to apply that to tanking is, then they're just clues. If 
Vengeance isn't meta because of its damage or tankiness. It fundamentally enables pulls no other tank can feasibly do. Yeah, it's like the icing on the cake, right? Yeah, so if you bring it down to where its damage and tankiness is significantly worse, then they can be balancing the sigils. I don't think they would ever do it like that, to be honest. Like, I don't think Blizzard looks at that as a whole picture. It's really weird. It's like I guess this guy's like deep in this, but like they're actually basing it on percentage. Like what the fuck? I don't think. Bringing Vengeance Survival and Damage down so much that their sigils are balanced is particularly healthy either. Oh god, no, yeah, no. Uh, I think it's time to create a new tank, and they will get three stun charges. <laughs> it also doesn't take into account if Metro has the axe or not. Blood is hardly meta without three things. Right. I can't log into WoW to work on my alt. League is opening. Save me.
You can't balance a tank having 10 CCs. Never seen 300% experience rate on Classic. This will be interesting. Eh, it's pretty common on private servers. They had it, like, um, some private servers up to, like, 14%, 14 times. That'd be, like, 1,400%. It still wasn't even really as fast as it sounds. Gotta love vengeance. Don't forget five AoE stops, one single target step, one rage kick, two AoE silences. Gotcha. Slappy Hands is pretty nice for gathering mobs, too. Let's not get too hasty. Uh, they make the other meta classes do 5% more damage just by being in the group. Yeah, no doubt. Why is he wasting time? He's just completing in something with rewards. <laughs> well, because he's wasting time advertising for this fucking company that doesn't do anything. Like, it's just not a meta spec. It's a stupid fucking system. It shouldn't be like that at all. It's a really dumb idea. The only thing that enables at least Paladin to be remotely competitive with Vengeance is externals plus DRs and multiple kicks for CC immune targets. Like, what? Like, it's just a really stupid thing. Like, what? You want me to switch my fucking class because your bullshit statistics say I'm not meta? Or I am meta? It's like, oh, that's retarded. This whole thing shouldn't... This shouldn't even be, like, allowed. You shouldn't even be able to pay people for this. So it's just break that kind of top three, sometimes meta. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand what the purpose of it is. Sounds like it's just free advertising for their website. Red area is kind of useless now anyway. It's always been useless. It's like a half measure. They tried their best with what they have, but Blizzard doesn't give them the full picture, so... The problem I have is that they try to then extrapolate half 
half measures into like facts and confuse people like this guy. Just let people in the underrepresented classes have fun for two weeks? No thanks. I'd rather be able to play. If there's literally going to be people who won't invite me because they think of some nonsense meta is like it's just ridiculous. So now it's going to be even harder to pug? Because these fucking guys who are doing 25s are trying to take bad picks over actual players who want to do the key. Does it really? I feel no one seriously pushing this late in the season that BTM or not is the best time they get to play their unrepresented specs. Oh my god, he's still whispering me. It is, it's hurting me, I just told you that. It's hurting the pug community even further. I didn't realize that people were gonna try to fucking pug that, that is ridiculous. Man, like, literally, like, Raider.io makes the pug community worse, and it feels like they try to actively make it worse at times, it's, it's insane. It isn't hurting you, you haven't cared, I'm not talking about score, dude, I'm trying to get invites to keys. That's not the only reason to play the game, is for score. And that's some nonsense radar made up bullshit. He's still going. Well, I did ask him a question now. He's just responding to it. I don't think I'm good enough to contribute to this conversation. It's not about being good or bad. It's just about what it does to the game. Like Literally everything that Raider.io does just hurts the pug community. They've created this mess from the ground up. The leaving and the focus on shit that doesn't even like have any actual reality to your success rate. This is all Raider IO from the ground up. They started this and they have done nothing in their power to try to fix it. And I get it, Blizzard made their jobs harder, so whatever, but it's totally irresponsible and it's making a lot of players unhappy. What do you even get for doing this? He's he's listed it there, I don't know. To be honest, I wasn't reading it. Sixty days World of Warcraft time, the Slytherin Dreamer, Blizzard Storm Mount, the Celestial Observer, Ensemble Transmog, and Little Ursoc Blizzard Store Pet. I don't know what you have to do to get them, like how good you have to be at it or something. Tiny chance to win a few in-game things and a funny flag you can place as a toy. Oh, like Blizzard actually gives them something to give out? Pretty crazy.
You aren't the ones who did this? I understand now. You, you must find Kurtalos. You must put a stop to this. <laughs> Invaders have breached the passage to the crypts. Ilisada, you must hold them here. We have much to lose. Your father's life, most of all. You need not worry. I will not fail, Atosius. Men! Metro, would you play WoW in PS5 if available? No. We gotta stop playing it on my computer, is that what you're asking? Uh, something tells me he won't come around. No, I don't think so. Not surprised. I we're talking about statistics. Honestly, it sounds like, based on what this dude's saying, it sounds like nobody's doing it, though. <laughs> if this dude's pugging at 25 and he's 11th in the world or something like that. Unless, did it just start today or something, maybe? Got my BIS weapon on the third final week of the season. Oh, from where? You don't have why would you have to climb again? You just do your key. Three, two, one. Eighteen thousand people only this. I guess it's always going to be a low participation rate because nobody's going to just like re-roll a character for this anyway, so.
will bury you here, fools. You cannot escape! The hunt is eternal. This is just like not obvious to people. Three, two, one. Like if I could enter 29s, I would eventually upgrade one. That wouldn't mean that I'm better than people who are doing them routinely. That's always been my issue with Raider IO, is it just like weights a single key the same as every other key done ever. So if I somehow upgraded a 29, I would be getting the same score as somebody who's done hundreds of 29s or something like that. Where's that guy? Boost 2, Red Arrow can't track boosts, and there are people who buy full 28 so they can have good score. Right, that's what I'm saying, pretty much at the same, in the same breath there. Guess the pugging isn't going well for him. He's still whispering me about this shit. Betrayed. Harry does that. It's wild. To be fair, you are also tanging while conversating. <laughs> I don't think this guy's in a dungeon. He's typing way too much. What did you say? Out of 110k currently ranked players, you are only starting ranking at 18s, unlike regular season score. Have you considered bringing a Resto Druid? Solve all the issues, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, ironically. They wouldn't be allowed in this either. But if we did our pugging BTM, they'd be number one. Invite him. You're probably going to see a lot of Resto Druids next season. Harry better get ready for it. <laughs> why? Why makes you say that? What? What is their set bonus? Is it going to be better than right now? Or is it the same one or what? Three, 
<laughs> Warm up that ignore button. I still can't fucking believe he put that guy at ignore, man. That's so funny. Now all the high key pushers are saying it's going to be meta from the PTR keys, assuming it's based on wanting Mark of the Wild. Gotcha. What did I miss? Ian Beaver, not much. Just this protracted conversation about something. It doesn't really matter, I'm just pedant. I'm, I'm a pedant, so I like to argue about nothing. Go, boss. The lust here. Fucking destroying this dungeon, though. Just looking at the timer now. Just watch the video. Explaining as things stand, it will be Mistweaver and Druids galore. We broke it down, but basically they mesh well with other popular specs and are powerful. What happens to this priest? Is it getting worse, I guess? I'll take it, as long as it's not both this priest and Restrooms. Oh. Oh! I did not know that was a thing. That's funny. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Did not know that was a thing. Okay. We're destroying this key. Well, we were until they buffed the boss. I did not know that they could buff the boss. I pulled that trash with the boss a few times, but I guess the casts have never gone off. Saw that happen on the MDI. Full wipe. Wow, really? That's funny.
If it happened on the MDI, then it must be meta. <laughs> now, considering how much time we have, I don't think it even matters, but it's funny. The Pally is 26th problem is first US Pally. Lowest keys. And he could not do 26 with meta composition, right? Now. Yeah, seems low on this boss. Yeah, we kind of fucked up. We pulled it before with the ads and it wiped us and it caused some issues, obviously. Yeah, I didn't realize the ads would actually buff the boss, so. That uh, fucked us. <laughs>
Looks like I'm back at a fun time. <laughs> nah, just, I don't know. Just having a stupid argument with somebody who's having a stupid argument back. I don't really understand what he's even trying to say at this point. See, like, I don't know, like, what are you even saying? Crazy how Holy Pally went from Super Beast to a BTM option in the course of one season. <laughs> I don't get what these people are dying to. Yeah, well, I'm not even paying attention to it, so. Who knows? Alright, whatever. That's enough for the day. Let's go ahead and get the raid done. I think the dungeon crushed them. <laughs> Uh, not even a good try, guys, or thank you for group. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty normal, yeah. I can't believe you are entertaining this pally. I don't know when to stop, that's fine. My biggest fault in life. I never know when to stop. Alright, anyway, um, Black Rook 25, another span, but... At least we got one dungeon done, huh? Monk... Paladin, Warlock, and Mage. Also, if we learn anything from this, and now watching Metro Coach Harry, Metro needs to stop commenting on the timer when it's in a good spot. <laughs> yes, that's another failure of mine. You know what that's called?
All right, let's try to see. This is the guy, right? I'm gonna sign him again. So sad and pathetic how that pally keeps trying to convince you he's a pro mythic plus player. I mean, to be fair, he's not really doing that. He's just like fucking in bed with Radar Arrow and is like defending their not their nonsense to the fucking death. Anyway, fire act time. Hopefully we can get an invite. It's always difficult. How come Draenor is the home planet of the orcs, but not the Draenei? It is also the Draenei. Wait, is it? I don't even know. I'm not sure. I'm not a big lore guy. What did I miss? There was like one key listed, and this guy won't invite me because he's trying to get fake red arrow points to some tangential shit. And then it caused a conversation that has led to this. Metro D's nuts new all. <laughs> I need one, yeah. We could try to do normal again. I just don't really want to waste the time if. I guess we can. I've never actually done the other bosses, though. I really don't want to, but since we actually have a fair amount of time, Tindril the Fire Act. I have done Tindril, but never on Heroic. I didn't know how much harder it is. Tindril is nothing. Yeah, I'm sure it's easy, but I guess we'd sign up, do tendrils well, and see what happens.
I don't really know uh, what um, like what changes on Heroic Tindril. What do I have to do differently? Because I've never actually done... I've never actually done the encounter on anything but LFR, so I'm sure it's very different. Wildlife are in serious danger if we do not act swiftly. Come assist with the rescue mission. Quite literally nothing. Oh, really? All right, fair enough. We'll see. Soak the shrooms, okay. You have to soak the right shrooms, gotcha. Alternative shrooms soak with other tank, that's the only tank mechanic, okay. Rogue Tendril is pretty much the same as tank. Just make sure to soak mushrooms and pop AMS for them. If you can, taunt boss when you go to soak the second shroom so you can death strike, otherwise it's the same. Alright, well hopefully it'll be obvious. Gonna take a while, I guess, though. I don't think you can do this without inviting all warriors and paladins. Gonna try to avoid the all warrior DK pally comp. Why, why would you do that? <laughs> like, why? Another one is, wants to make the fucking search. Even harder. Never seems to work out. What the hell? Four shrooms instead of three. And theoretically, you should soak every other one rather than soaking all three, which can be done comfortably in normal. Yeah, I've never even done it on normal. Four eighty only. No pally warrior DK. You're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> it might have been faster to just wait yeah, and try to find an only fire rat group. But I guess we already have a decent lead. It's always hard to find healers, though.
Question mark, question mark, question mark. Whoa. $100. Turd Ferguson. God damn it. He... <laughs> that's crazy. Thank you so much. I did not expect you to... He was like, I want to donate. I want to show some support after the funny videos. And... Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, man. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't deserve it. I never feel worthy of that type of donation. But, man, thank you so much, dude. Very, very, very generous, man. Thank you so much. Hope the uh, fun stuff can continue, man. We've had some amazing submissions, especially in the last few weeks. So, I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, damn man. Me too, man. <laughs> Always super thankful for all that kind of generosity. Is this normal mode? No, this should be heroic. This guy's telling me what to do, like I know the fight, okay. I saw one and three, and you two and four. Oh God, what is he talking about? Is it gonna be numbered somehow, or is it? He's talking about when they come out. Fake it till you make it. I'm gonna fake it, bro. There's no doubt about that. Don't know that we'll make it. You soak first and four and third mushroom to spawn. Okay. So before, when Jacob said four shrooms instead of three. He means on the fight total? Oh, oh, is it four every time it happens and you just do one then another one does another one? Just look for the brown circle and then the next brown circle as they spawn. All right, they spawn in like succession and then that mechanic repeats. I see, okay. That's heroic, yeah. Over the course of about 12 seconds. All right, cool. I got it. Four corners of an imaginary square. Oh, really? They spawn in a set pattern? Interesting. Hopefully, uh, it won't take too much longer to fill, though. Presumably, it'll be one shot for both bosses. What does this guy want? Four healers, I guess? I don't know. Probably don't need this big of a raid size. AMS works for the shrooms. What, it puts a debuff on me that I could AMS? Is that what you mean? So I could theoretically soak more than one? Or more than two, I guess? Is the flying thing any different? I guess it's not, right? Does Crusader or increase the actual flying speed? I wonder. Oh, did we just aggro the boss?
Can't remember if that's meant to Heroic. You have to dodge balls on Heroic, I think. Oh, really? No daylight savings time in the U.S. yet? Uh, daylight savings time was like over a month ago, yeah. It was like the first week of March, I think. You're still arguing with the pally? <laughs> He's still typing to me. I'm still replying. Yes. Not sure I would call this arguing at this point, but... Just having a conversation by now. Out of paladins, but I guess we just need healer. Not sure what he's even looking for at this point. What made you ask about daylight savings time, Neo? Invite the paladin you're talking to. <laughs> yeah, we need a healer, bro. It's a break the meta raid. He's not inviting a bunch of rep pallies. A lot of macros. <laughs> I gotta turn this off. I don't understand why this is on. I could have swore I had this off. Is it the MRT one? Well, I don't even know what mythic raid tools. What's it called? Ready check? Raid check? Yeah, okay. This is what we need to turn off. I thought I had a different add on doing this, but it's actually this one. That's what I needed to turn off. Okay. It's kind of weird though, because I have it clicked disable on LFR and it still did it, so I don't know. Hopefully that's going to work now. We had a five hour difference until a few weeks back when it happened in Germany, so now it's six hours, but it makes sense if it happens sooner in the US. Five, yeah, six hours four, in Germany is the normal three, one. Two, one. Your youth has ended. So just tank him here or what? I think this guy just taunted off me or what? I have no Be idea why. Falling star. So we s just move. Do we actually have to pay attention to whatever this is? Mass entangle. It's just AoE. Searing wrath on this guy. I don't know when we would taunt for that. So this is, he's doing one and three. And then this one's me. That's two. Taunt the boss. Or did we get... Did I miss four or did it, he get it as well? Beware. I guess he got three out of the four because I never saw the fourth one. He 
You are one and three. Oh, so I missed the first one, and he just took three instead. So this one's me. Oh, he's going to it, so I have no idea. He's just taking them all, I guess. No idea. Will these people's bodies get moved? Or do they need to be res here? You have to get every other mushroom. You can't soak two in a row, even with AMS. do all four with your build, but three and four are going to hurt. I mean, I have two cheat deaths, so how frequently does it happen? If both of us try to soak it, will we both get a debuff? I don't know. You should tell this guy to go do some mythic plus. gonna spawn the mushrooms now so I guess we'll find out in a second so yeah I mean yeah, you don't even get the debuff of UAMS so I can take all of these there was only three I'm pretty sure by the way unless I'm somehow not seeing the fourth one I never saw it What do I do here? No idea. You got the second and fourth one? Oh, okay. I guess I just keep missing one. If you're tanking near the fire, one of them can appear in the fire and make it hard to see. Oh, really? See, like, I don't, like, it would have been off. I could have taken it. I don't know. I really don't understand this fight. Does it go away, like, the second the debuff expires or something? Yeah, I can just not. Dude. Dude. I don't know, what is this guy talking about? I don't even know where I'm going. Up here? I'm gonna die to something, I guess. There was four, they start off as brown swirls, gotcha. Am I doing something wrong here? I like, don't understand why this guy keeps bringing it up. I said I would just get them all. He's still taking them. I don't. Beware. I have yet to even take damage from them, so I'm not even sure why I wouldn't be able to take them all yet. Okay, so that did 1.8 million, so I could see why. Without AMS, it would be hard to take them all. No, this guy. Okay. Oh no, is the key not going very well? <laughs> it's 
Spamming all caps. Move! That key is hard. I don't even remember what it was. Was it Waycrest? He doesn't have any meta classes. Buy him some slack. <laughs> ashes to ashes. Yeah. What a pity. Uh, he's playing on a high pop PVE sod realm. The world buffs. Yeah, yeah, playing on the high pop PVE sod realm. The world buffs refresh every five minutes. What do you have to do to get them? You just be an Orgrimmar when they come? Is that how it works with those ones as well? Oh, did I not loot something? Huh. Be in a city? I'm just in Darn doing props. Oh, you get them in Darnassus as well? Holy shit. I don't think that's how the original ones work, is, is it? Pretty sure you'd only get them if you were in... Stormwind or Orgrimmar. Maybe not. How is the actual leveling with the 300? Like, what level are you and stuff? Like, what's the pace like? Is 300% enough to just do whatever zone you want? Or do you still have to, like, fly around and do a bunch of shit? Oh, the BFD one's probably only in Darn, actually. Yeah, that's a great... I didn't even think about that. Ten hours to twenty-one, doing props and taking time. Cool. Well, let me know how long your next level takes. I guess is the main thing. Or like, let me know a level where you're just trying to actually level for the whole thing of it, and let me know what it's like. Oh, it's only a hundred percent extra experience. Oh, three hundred gold from quests. Interesting. That's probably more important than I realized, though. Gold from questing is. Cause like on my server, I had it at 1.7 times experience, so that would be 70% more experience, right? Is that what that would mean? And then I had it, I think it was like five times gold. Maybe it wasn't that high, I can't remember. Let's take a look, I guess. Remember where you set this? Rate money. Drop money. 3.5 times for gold from me, so. Not too dissimilar. Similar numbers. And that feels like perfect. Like, I've messed with these numbers a ton. 1.7, I think is. Wait, did I even lower it? Hold on. Oh, I. No. Yeah, okay. It's 1.6 from kills. And 1.9 from quests. That's what I settled on. And that felt perfect. And 2.0 from exploration. That feels perfect. That's my ideal rate for classic. The way I level at least. I did 19 to 20 in 9 minutes. Whoa. Wait, 9 minutes? What the fuck? That's really fast. Oh, well, cool. That's cool. You'll get like, yeah, 300% more gold sounds like a lot, but in reality, you're going to get way less quests done on the way to level. So you're just going to end up with way less money as well. Oh, okay. So like the previous level was like an hour and that one was nine minutes kind of thing. I do that a lot too, I guess, in Classic.
I gotta get back and do some leveling challenge stuff again, though. It's been a long time since I've played any... Wow, that wasn't just for max level content. Previous was 25 minutes. I just go AFK because of kids. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, there's Trey Ferguson with somebody. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much for your insane generosity today, man. I didn't know you were live. I'm watching videos from a couple months ago. Oh, there's so many of them. Dude, watch them. Like, go through the whole Season 3 playlist. Then once you're done with that, go through the Season 2 playlist. Then once you're done, go through the Season 1 playlist. Then, if you're done with all three of those, you can go... I think there might even be a BFA or a Shadowlands one somewhere. But either way, if there's not, you can go to the Stream Clips one. And they're like, oh, there's... Dude, there's moments like that. Just hilarious shit going on in this game since... Oh, it's been since the day one, so... If you're somebody who likes that kind of content, there is hundreds of hours ahead of you here. Not all of them will be like truly gems going that far that far back, but yeah, there's amazing some amazing ones. Free priest get vamp vampiric touch early on is nice. Shadow priest get yeah. Shadow priest looks like the most improved spec in Season of Discovery. If I was going to play Season of Discovery, I would play a Shadow Priest. Warlock Deathgate Falls are my favorite. Oh, there's a couple of those, man. There's one that, if you're just seeing this content for the first time, I shouldn't spoil it, but it's so good I have to tell you a little bit about it. There's one where a mage from Shadowlands, there's a mechanic that knocks players back if you get hit by it. It's not supposed to be being hit by anyway. So he gets hit by it as a mage. Doesn't like he gets knocked off the platform doesn't blink doesn't save himself from dying and then leaves mid fall like he's falling to his death and leaves before he dies in magic dan we trust there you go look at somebody's in here the dude's name was magic dan and then we go and review the full key because somebody said something even more crazy happened that I won't spoil. Go watch it. The him falling and leaving before he actually falls to his death thing wasn't even the most ridiculous thing about the key. I was like, oh my god, that's one of my that is probably my favorite, number one favorite thing that's happened on this live stream since the day I started. What's your weapon transmog? Uh, it's the weapon from Captain Lancer. Why is my character green? Uh, it's the weapon from Captain Lancer. It's called a uh, Dragon Bane Lance. I haven't made Shadowlands stuff. The Rise Fall Death Gates are the best, no doubt, no doubt. But that's just one of the best ones. So if you do make it there, you have something really to look forward to. I'm just happy the low level greens on auction house are reasonably priced because you will on power creep yourself till quests give greens yeah that's good too there's a good uh, amount of community on that i'm sure what was the video call for that mage it's probably magic dan if you type in magic dan i don't remember the name of it i guess while we wait we can look i'm pretty sure the title should be something magic dan because i think i used to put people's names in back then still but that might not be it yeah, here we go. Most bizarre disband ever. And this is another fucking b -b -b banger as well. This is probably actually maybe the best video on this topic. But yeah, anyway, most bizarre, most bizarre disband ever. Magic Dan falls off twice and leaves the other side 18. This is a really good one too. These aren't even like, this is just a very short clip, but... This guy just like fucking blinks into his death, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, the Frostlands. He just walks into it. Bonk. See you later. That guy's... He gets, oh, he gets knocked off, but he doesn't actually get fully knocked off. He doesn't get knocked off all the way. He lives. He, he like, landed on a ledge, so he doesn't get knocked off. And then watch. It's going to happen again. Look, it's going to happen again. <laughs> oh, he doesn't live... He doesn't die from that one either. Wait, what? He gets knocked back twice by Oro's cold heart, and then oh, is it gonna happen a third time? Oh, he dodged that one. Wow, what a roller coaster! <laughs> it's funny.
Oh god. Run's really not going well, huh? Run reset boss tank! Anyway, um, one of my favorites of all time was the Mist of Turn of Scythe, where they pull a ton of extra mobs, and you deadpan wipe it up in Season 1. Wait, what? Well, I don't remember that one. What's that one? They pull a ton of extra mobs. I don't remember that one. For perspective, it's level 21 and 10 hours played, but I have 100 plus tailoring and enchanting, and I'm done Dark Shore Quest. Nice. Had to watch back to chat with Pally, and to be honest, you were criticizing him for rules he didn't make when he was trying to earn rewards. He kept responding though, so fair game, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, whatever. I'm I'm an idiot too, so I don't know why I can't just stop talking to people like that. It just I, it just pisses me off that like it's pugging is such a volatile place as it is, and then Radar I was making it even more volatile with these stupid events. Like, how can you ever justify that? Like, I don't know what the fuck went through their head when they're like, oh, yeah, Blood DK can't participate in this. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> is it break the meta or is it just fun, arbitrary bullshit that you just came up with? Why do three specs have to be meta? It doesn't even make sense. That's not what meta means. I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, let me know what that one is. I don't even know what that, that video is. There's only one turn of size one that I really remember was when uh, the Azralon and the Ragnaros players start fighting and start insulting each other's realms. That was really funny. <laughs> that was really funny. Ragnaros Scrup <laughs> from Azralon. Harkin, would somebody welcome? Wasn't it also in Mist where the Druid healer did zero damage? Yeah, that was, that was a different type of video, but yeah. We did that, and that, that was on the first boss where there was zero healing required and it was a huge damage phase. They made a whole video on that. Hoping to open some eyes from the healers because at that point there was a lot of players. Well, there still is, but it, throughout the years of WoW, there's a lot of players who are like, I play a healer, bro. I won't DPS. And it's like... Uh, all right, well, in this case, you are AFK. So do you want to be AFK in the dungeon or do you want to actually contribute? And there's still comments on that video that people are like, I'd rather be AFK. Cool. I missed the Shadowlands dungeon pool. Yeah, actually me too, to be honest. That was definitely my favorite dungeon pool ever. Definitely my favorite season. Like all three of those seasons were definitely my favorite seasons dungeon pools. But these... Seasons from Dragonflight have been way more fun for sure. Probably mostly because of the hilarity, but Dragonflight like has just been wild. Like if you look at the stats, like if you guys haven't actually looked at it, like outside of Shadowlands season four, which was just an absolute mess, like season two was what made me quit taking the stats. That's how bad it was in my eyes at the time. And look at the stats. It was great. Like oh, like look at it. Only 28% disband rate, 46%, 47% of the keys I entered were upgrades. Flash forward to Dragonflight Season 3. 25% of the keys are upgrades, 56% disband rate. That's fucking double. That's wild. But I look back at Shadowland Season 2 as like the worst season. Like it's pretty, pretty weird. If you'd rather be AFK, then I guess you can go to a city and type furry shit and trade. <laughs> yeah, that shit just bothers me. It's just really strange how many healers are just like content to just do nothing and just get carried the whole way. I remember a Mistweaver you ran with an Underrot during BFA that didn't do a single point in damage. Didn't even apply the debuffs to the mobs. I remember that too, actually. That's ha that's not just an Underrot in BFA. I've had that happen many times over the years. The Mistweaver who can't even apply the dot on trash is, is frequent. It's actually not even that uncommon. Maybe the whole dungeon, that it's probably very uncommon. But yeah, we play with Mistweavers all the time who don't apply the dot on trash. 
Yeah, and your week one to three have excellent disband rate compared to four to ten. So if you have a rough next two weeks, I'm thinking it'll average to like 60% disband rate. 60 plus percent, yeah. It's going to only go up. But obviously we haven't been uh, doing as many keys now these last few weeks just because we've been doing the Harry coaching streams instead. But yeah, we'll see. I don't know what's going to happen with him. Like I said, when he goes to London, all bets are off sometimes. He may not come back. But if he does and he's around tomorrow, then we'll probably be doing that. And if he's around all week, then we'll probably be doing that all week because it's been really fun and he really wants to get better at tanking. So hopefully he can start using Bone Shield. He's, he looks like he's here. He looks like he's home, though. I see him online in Discord and not on his phone, so that probably means he's home. I don't like unless you have another computer it always the icon for discord being a full green circle means you're on a computer right i think that's what it means unless he just left his computer on the whole time but then it would go yellow or whatever right are you inviting these people or what we went from having like tons of time to get this done to now it's like all right let's get moving Discord does a green phone if you're online via the app, yeah. But if you have your computer on, like you leave it on 24 seven, it goes to like a yellow iPhone, right? I found it, it was never a video. It's just on the disband spreadsheet and I thought it was hilarious. Oh yeah. Uh, well, we finally invited another player, so we're probably not gonna have time to look at it, but. Unless Harry is psychotic and on Discord website on his phone. Dude, he probably is, because he uses the Discord website all the time. I guess you can do that to be in multiple Discords at once. He's like the old school Ventrilo guy who's just like in four Ventrilos at once. This is why I don't like raids. You spend more time waiting than playing. Unfortunately, that's how Mythic Plus is too nowadays. So. I don't mind it. It just seems like not needed considering how easy the the raid boss is like i get it if what we had seems insufficient after we wipe you could change the comp but like what's the point in waiting another 20 minutes after the boss the video is only three minutes long i'll pm it to you in case we have time after frack yeah pm it to me i'll just watch it right now what are you even waiting for i have no idea i guess we're good now we're just waiting for the druid to get here we'd have no warlock I think we, we had only four up until right now. Oh. Wait, this is the one where they flame me because I'm playing Blood Decay, isn't it? No, this isn't it. You said they pull boss trash on the boss, right? I think I actually remember invising. That's sad. Wait, this is the Ragnaros one, isn't it? Oh no, this is my what? fucking pet. My pet doesn't invis. Yeah, first time I ever played okay. a pet class, so I never knew that my pet wouldn't invis. Interesting. Why, why would they be in? Sketchy. Wait, when did I even say it? They're scary to play, but that's about it. They pull extra trash at the start. Oh. In the week. Probably oh, this because I was doing this old route. Yeah. I worry that my disease will jump. I didn't even think that. Yeah, that's actually an interesting idea. I didn't even think about that being an option. If you just arcane torrent the debuff away, it's an easy pack. Yeah. I'm sure. What? Yeah. Okay, wipe it up. <laughs> wipe it up. That's just what I always used to say from raids, so I guess it was just a... Oh, big facts. We're getting thrown an invite his way. If they notice I invited him. 
Yeah, because those mobs were menaces. Like, we should have never pulled those in the first place if we could have avoided it, but... I wanted to try to find the uh, most, like, pug-friendly route for... Whatever that fix was called now, I don't remember. Do you actually need, I guess you're just looking to get a kill or do you just come in to help? This is tank point of view if I've ever seen it. Just so jaded at that point, it doesn't even phase you that half the shit got pulled. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you're right actually. It's like, not even, it's just like calloused, right? Like I'm, like I scabbed over, like my thoughts on it are just like, all right, this is normal. Wipe it up. We're not, I'm not fighting that stuff, so wipe it up. This is this is a lot of talk for a fight that I've seen done with some really, really bad players. Still a dwarf, too. A little female dwarf hunter coming in hot. Okay. That's an interesting transmog. Blind dwarf. What? Don't make me regret it. picking you now. I like how your streams remain the same throughout the years. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you do. I am me after all. Not a lot of people out there are just being themselves on the internet. I'm not trying to pretend I'm somebody I'm not. For better or for worse. Is this LFR? Oh god, if this was LFR, I would have left by now. Random question, was Icebox the one who was He Druid? Yeah, that's correct. He Druid was Icebox, She Druid was whatever her name was. And then there was She Slice, which was the, the son or something? I have no idea. Still don't understand all that. I have a feeling today is going to be the one, though. I think we're finally going to get the legendary today. This is it. Yeah, I think this is actually it. Especially with how long that just take and all that stuff that just went on. Like, it feels like this is finally the one. You shouldn't have said it. Well, it's like one of those things that is just like, I'm not, I like, I'm confident that it's the one. Like, I don't, I'm not saying because I hope it is. I'm thinking it's like, no, this is actually going to be it finally. This would be the last time we have to do Fire Rack, at least for a few weeks, probably. How many attempts? I think this would be my fifth heroic kill. But we've done it every week, at least to some degree. I just don't know. I guess like LFR and normal barely count, so. Pretty much like we might as well be like five and a half weeks, I guess. <laughs> no idea why you would tank it there on purpose knowing you're gonna have to move. That seems so stupid. The way tanks tank this fight makes me think I'm missing something, but I think it's just not very skill intensive, so people just do whatever the fuck they want. Isn't there bad luck protection? Yeah, there is, but that's what I'm saying. Like, LFR and normal seem to, like, barely count towards it for some reason. It's, like, 15% per week or something like that on Heroic, and it's only, like, 1% per week on LFR. Or maybe not even a full percent. Yeah, they basically don't exist in terms of bad luck protection, which is really fucked up. If I knew that was the case, I would have pushed for Heroic more. But especially early in the season, it was like pretty much impossible to find only Fire Act Heroic. Like everybody was doing a full clear of the raid and I didn't have time for that. So I never would have really gotten a Heroic run. I tried to get a Heroic one. One week I tried like, all right, I'm just gonna do Heroic only this week. 
and I spent I spent about four hours between two nights trying to get into a group, and it just never happened. I wouldn't get invites to the groups that needed tanks, and every other group didn't need tanks. Life. Yeah, I mean, sort of, you know what, why are we tanking up there? I still have no idea. This is probably the hardest fight to pug into at the tank. A lot of DKs want to solo it. Right, well that's not something I've seen myself. Like there's always two tanks in the group. It's like I've never seen a group of one and not invite somebody else. But it is definitely very soloable. Oh, what the fuck? That just hit five really bad. Was that the frontal that did that? Do these ads take damage from the rock elemental guys here? I think they do, right? Other tank pointed it right at them, oh boy. So if the lines hit them, they automatically end their like life or whatever. But if the elemental... Oh, yeah, we're wiping. Okay. But if the elemental hits them, it just... It doesn't actually... It doesn't actually uh, kill them. It just damages them. Bug in here again. Now I gotta get that fucking pill bottle. All this time to get five healers. <laughs> Where's Faxi? I was playing survival. Okay. That was my bad, but we will fix it. Mist Weaver. Mist Weaver. Oh, yeah, that is clever. I like that, actually. Looks like I finally turned that off. I feel like taunting with three is not is better than two though. I don't know why they want you to tank it at two. I guess because that's just mathematically when it has to happen. But I feel like if this guy just takes a third, then I'll taunt when the boss needs to move. That's way more efficient than we only have to taunt once on the fight. On the phase. Now we, we would move. That's the end of the taunting. Yeah, you don't have to taunt again yet. This is like probably one of the easiest fights I've ever tanked, and this is the last fight of a raid. It's pretty weird. It's 
is like easier than like the first boss of a raid, usually the tank. Uh, Sarkarath, I never did it at any point, so I had no idea. It's the final boss of an entire expansion. No, that's a good point, but I don't really think they make the fight harder or easier based on that. That'd be weird if they did that, obviously. Move out of that. I think that hits really hard if I get hit by that. Oh, yeah, it's that puddle that. Oh, God, that hits really hard. That's strange. So I would just one shot somebody if they walked into that. It feels like the tank mechanic were an afterthought here. It does. It feels like the whole tank, like, purpose is an afterthought. I feel like this is not where you want to tank him because this is right where the ads run in, isn't it? You want to be off to the side, like we want to be over there or something. But I guess this maximizes the amount of time that healers have to heal the ads and at the end of the day that's what you're trying to do. Funny thing about Sark Pugs, where AoEs faded at player position, so a bunch of evokers were there for legendary would fuck up phase one constantly since they were too short to be fully ranged. Ah, okay. In terms of like tanking in this phase, it doesn't actually matter where we take these rock elemental guys, right? We just want to take them away from the middle so the ads can run through cleanly. There's no need to actually split them up or anything, I guess, right? Okay, here comes the ads. No ads hit currently, that's nice. Just don't stand on the healing ads, yeah, that's what I thought. It's weird that they both come out on one tank. That's why I thought it needed to be split up or either separated or kept together, one of the two. Farming the legendary, yes sir. Uh, hopefully today is the day. It feels like it. Feels like it. Be well under thy wing. This tree will not fall. Oh, there's some here as well. Hope it's the day. Yeah, me too. I'm ready to be done. It wasn't anywhere near as painful to get as pugged as I thought it was going to be, but I'm, I'm ready to be done with raiding for a little bit. I guess it's only going to be one week, though, at this point, but I just like to have the legendary. It's like, yeah, at this point, if I don't get it, then I'm probably not going to have it for season four start. I, I, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I'm on the fence about whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm thinking there's a possibility that if it just drops in Season 4, it then doesn't need to be upgraded. So getting it in Season 4 would be a time saver. And we just have to pug it again in Season 4. But I'm also wondering if maybe getting it in Season 4 is simply do the boss a set number of times. Like it's not random at that point to upgrade it. Like I don't know if there's any precedent to how they've handled it in the past. If it's going to be random or not. Or if it's literally just kill the boss and then you can upgrade it. I don't know. Season 4 people will only be doing this boss once every three weeks. Yeah, I don't know how any it's going to work, I guess. Oh, what's happening now? What the fuck is going on? We're wiping this face?
hope is not having to raid any more of this expansion. I just want to do keys and collect mounts and pets. Yeah. You know, I'll need it to upgrade the legendary, I guess, one way or the other, but... How many attempts so far? I think this is my fifth road kill. It might be my sixth. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Alright, we had a bunch of deaths, but I guess no actual wipes. And I was wrong. Neil's else got it, though? So the last week is our last what chance then. Ooh, Augury again. But I can't even get that because I'm not DPS right. Unexpected. Yeah, next week then do it all again. It's unfortunate. All right. Well, that is going to be it for me. I will be back tomorrow one way or the other. Maybe with Harry, maybe not. But, yeah, either way, we'll be back. So thank you for watching. We will see you guys in the next one.